My dear brothers and sisters, as well as all people of goodwill, peace be with you all. My name is Father Arnold Lishirima, the superior of the Capuchin brothers in Kenya. I come to you all on behalf of Capuchin brothers, requesting for your financial support towards the construction of phase two of our headquarters residential home in Westlands, Rafter Road, Nairobi. The total cost of this project is 25 million. Wish basi wapenzi wa Kristu siku hii ya leo Jumapili ya pili ya Pasaka ama Jumapili ya huruma ya Mungu tunayo furaha tu tunaposherekea huruma hiyo ya Mungu miongoni mwetu lakini kwa jia ya kipekee miongoni mwetu tunaye Father Peter Joroge Father Peter Joroge amekuwa mmoja wetu alitumwa hapa baada ya kumaliza seminari kaweza kuhudumu nasi akapata daraja ya kuwa shemasi na baadaye akapata daraja ya kuwa padri na kwa hivyo siku hii ya leo amekuja ili adhimishe ibada ya shukrani kwa Mwenyezi Mungu tumshukuru Mungu pamoja naye kwa kipaji hicho chake na baraka yake na kipaji cha wito miongoni mwetu kwa hivyo sasa na waomba tumkaribishe kwa makofi Karibu sana Father Peter Joroge katika parokia hii yetu na sasa na kuomba uweze kutuongoza katika kuadhimisha ibada ya misa. Kama watoto wachanga waliozaliwa sasa mtamani maziwa halisi ya kiroho mpate kukua katika wokovu. Haleluya. Kwa jina la Baba, la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu. Neema ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na upendo wa Mungu Baba na ushirika wa Roho Mtakatifu viwe na nyinyote. Kama tulivyofahamishwa karibuni katika Dominika hii ya pili ya Pasaka, vile vile tunaadhimisha e, Dominika ya huruma ya Mungu. Kwa wakati mwingi sisi ni wakosefu, tuweze kukiri dhambi zetu, tusifanye kustahilishwa kufanya e, ibada takatifu Na kuungamia Mungu mwenyezi na nyinyi ndugu zangu kwa nini nimekosa mno kwa mawazo kwa maneno kwa vitendo na kwa kutotimiza wajibu Nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana Ndio maana na kuomba Maria mwenye heri bikra daima Maraika na watakatifu wote na nyinyi ndugu zangu Mungu mwenyezi atuhurumie atusamehe dhambi zetu na atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele
imani ya taifa lako takatifu katika kurudia kila mwaka kwa siku kuu ya Pasaka. Tunakuomba uongezee neema uliyolijalia ili wote watambue kwa kuelewa sahihi dhamani kuu ya ubatizo uliowatakasa na roho aliyewazaa upya na damu iliyowakomboa. Kwa ajili ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao Anaeishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele. Somo la kwanza Somo katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume. Ndugu wote walilishikilia fundisho la mitume kuishi pamoja kindugu, kumega mkate na kusali. Kila mtu akaingiwa na hofu kwa maana miujiza na ishara nyingi zilifanywa na mitume. Wote walioipokea imani walikuwa jamii moja na wakashirikiana vitu vyote wakauza mashamba na mali zao na kuwagawia watu wote kila mtu kadri ya mahitaji yake siku kwa siku walikutana ekaluni na walimega mkate nyumba kwa nyumba wakala pamoja kwa furaha na unyofu wa moyo walimtukuza Mungu na kupenda na kupendwa na watu wote na kila siku Bwana aliwaongeza wale waliokuwa wakiokolewa neno la Bwana tumshukuru Mungu mshukuru ni Bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele mshukuru ni Bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema wema wake 
Shukuruni Bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele. Shukuruni Bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele. Mshukuruni Bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele. Mshukuruni Bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele Israeli naseme sasa wema wake ni wa milele nyumba ya Haruni iseme wema wake ni wa milele wamchae bwana waseme wema wake ni wa milele mshukuru ni bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele nilisukumwa nilisukumizwa nianguke lakini bwana amenisaidia bwana ni nguvu na hodari wangu yeye amekuwa wokovu wangu sauti ya shangwe na ushindi imo katika hema za watu waadilifu Mshukuru ni Bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele jiwe walilolikataa waashi limekuwa jiwe kuu la pembeni jambo hili alilifanya Bwana nalo ni la ajabu machoni petu hii ndio siku aliyoifanya Bwana tuishangilie na kuifurahia mshukuru ni bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele mshukuru ni bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele somo katika barua ya kwanza ya mtakatifu Petro Atukuzwe Mungu Baba wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristu huyo Baba ametuzaa upya kwa huruma yake kubwa tupate tumaini hai kwa ufufuko wa Yesu Kristu katika wafu pia tupate urithi usioharibika wala kuchafuka wala kufifia mliowekewa mbinguni Nguvu ya Mungu inawahifadhi kwa sababu ya imani yetu hata mpate wokovu ulio tayari kufunuliwa wakati wa mwisho. Hapo mtashangilia ijapo sasa imewapasa kuzunika kwa kitambo kidogo katika majaribu kadha wa kadha. Wakati wa kufunuliwa Yesu Kristo imani yenu iliyojaribiwa kama dhahabu ili iliyosafishwa kwa moto ionekane ni bora zaidi kuliko dhahabu hafifu mpate sifa na utukufu na heshima mwampenda Kristo ejapo amjamuona bado na bila kumuona sasa mnamsadiki mtamshangilia kwa furaha tukufu isiyosemekana yani wakati mtakapokuwa umefikia upeo wa imani yenu ndio wokovu wa roho zenu neno la bwana haleluya 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 kwa kuwa umeniona Tomaso umesadiki asema bwana wenye heri wale wasioona na wakasadiki haleluya 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 bwana awe nanyi Somo la injili takatifu ilivyoandikwa na Yohane. Tukufu kwako Bwana. 
Jioni ya siku ile ya kwanza ya Juma alikuja Yesu akasimama katikati ingawa milango ya chumba walimokaa wafuasi ilikuwa imefungwa kwa kuwaogopa Wayahudi akawaambia Amani iwe nanyi baada ya maneno hayo akawaonyesha mikono yake na ubavu wake wafuasi wakafurahi walipomuona Bwana Yesu akawaambia mara ya pili Amani iwe nanyi kama baba alivyonituma mimi nami na watuma ninyi Baada ya maneno hayo akawapulizia akawaambia pokeeni roho mtakatifu wote mtakao waondolea dhambi wameondolewa wote mtakao wafungia dhambi wamefungiwa lakini Tomaso aitwaye Pacha mmoja wale kumi na wawili hakuwako pamoja nao alipokuja Yesu basi wafuasi wengine wakamwambia tumemuona Bwana lakini akawajibu nisipoona matundu ya misumari mikononi mwake na kutia kidole changu sehemu za misumari na kutia mkono wangu katika ubavu wake sisadiki hata kidogo baada ya siku nane wafuasi wake walikuwamo tena chumbani na Tomaso pamoja nao akaja Yesu ingawa milango ilikuwa imefungwa akasimama kati yao akasema amani iwe nanyi kisha akamwambia Tomaso tia kidole chako humu tazama mikono yangu lete mkono wako na kutia katika ubavu wangu na usikose imani bali uwe anayeamini Tomaso akajibu akamwambia Bwana wangu na Mungu wangu Yesu akamwambia kwa kuwa umeniona umesadiki wenye heri wale wasioona na wakasadiki sasa Yesu alifanya ishara nyingine mbele ya wafuasi wake zisizoandikwa katika kitabu hiki lakini hizi zimeandikwa mpate kusadiki ya kuwa Yesu ni Masia mwana wa Mungu tena kwa kusadiki mpate kuwa na uzima kwa jina lake injili ya bwana sifa kwako e kristo Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati kama tulivyosema hapo awali karibuni katika Dominika hii ya pili ya Pasaka na tunapoendelea kusherekea ufuko wa Bwana e, Dominika ya leo pia tunaadhimisha e, siku ya huruma ya Mungu Mtashangilia kwa furaha tukufu isiyosemekana yani wakati mtakapokuwa umefika upewa wa imani yenu ndio wokovu wa roho zenu utawafikia Mungu ni mwema Leo hii tukiendelea kuangalia mitume na kuwatazama bado wanasongwa na mambo kadha wa kadha hata baada ya ufufuko Jabu la kwanza ambalo limewapelekea ni kuwa na uoga mpaka wamefika mahali wamejificha Mungu ni mwema Jambo la pili Ha watu bado wamesongwa na shida ya kutoamini bado imani yao haijakita mizizi Leo hii tunapopatana na Tomaso katika injili yetu Tomaso anaonekana mtu ambaye bado imani yake haijakoma Na ni vema tujue ya kwamba Tomaso ni mmoja wa wale kumi na wawili na kwa hivyo amepata mafundisho yake kwa jia inayostahili lakini bado hajaamini. Na kwa hivyo tukichukua mada hiyo leo hii tunaweza ongea juu ya imani thabiti. Umuhimu wa imani maishani mwetu ni nini? Tukijua umuhimu wake ni vyema tuweze kuangalia na tujue madhara ya kutoamini ni yapi. Tukiangalia umuhimu wa imani maishani mwetu Imani yetu hutupelekea mpaka tunapopokea mambo mawili kutoka kwa Mungu. 
na mambo haya mawili huwa yanaabatana jambo la kwanza ni huruma ya Mwenyezi Mungu ambayo tunasherekea siku ya leo jambo la pili ambalo linahitaji imani yetu ni neema ya Mwenyezi Mungu neema na imani na mine, neema na neema na lehema ya Mungu zinaabatana lakini kuna swali tutakayojiuliza leo huruma ya Mungu inaendea viumbe vyote vilivyoumbwa ama inamuendea mwanadamu peke yake God is good Huruma ya Mwenyezi Mungu ni kwa mwanadamu ama ni kwa viumbe vyote vilivyoumbwa Tukiongea mambo na viumbe vyote ujue hata mawe ni kiumbe na kiliumbwa Mungu ni mwema God is good By the mercy of God does it go to each and every creature ama inaenda tu kwa mwanadamu ni vema tuweze kufahamu ya kwamba baada ya kuumbwa kwa vitu vyote viumbe vyote kiumbe mwanadamu ndiye aliweza kubadilishiwa maisha yake juu ya utukutu wake na utukutu wake ndio uliompelekea ulio kutoamini akaenda kinyume na mafunzo ya muumba aliye muumba na baada ya hapo ili alejeshwe katika hali yake ya neema aliyokuwa amejaliwa na aliye muumba basi alikuwa anahitaji neema ya Mungu Neema ya Mungu huwa inatusaidia kivipi katika maisha yetu Sana sana tunaweza kuwa tunafikiria ya kwamba hii miili yetu inahitaji rehema ya Mungu Swali linaendelea Ni mwili wako ama ni moyo wako unahitaji huruma ya Mungu na nyoyo zetu ndizo zilizoangamizwa na dhambi iliyotendwa na wazazi wetu hapo awali. Na kwa hivyo moyo wako unahitaji rehema na neema ya Mwenyezi Mungu ili uweze kutakazwa, utiwe nguvu na vile vile uweze kuepukana na majaribio ya mwili. Na ningetaka tuiangalie hivi. Macho yako inahitaji huruma gani? Miguu yako inahitaji huruma gani? Miguu yako unapotebea usiku inahitaji huruma gani? Moyo dio unaoangamia kwa matendo yanayotendwa na mwili. Kilio cha moyo ni kikuu saidi sana na kwa hivyo inahitaji neema na huruma ya Mwenyezi Mungu ili moyo uweze kutiwa hekima ya kujua kuishi na mwili. Mwili ushafika mahali pake. Moyo bado ungali usafalini. Majaribio ni mengi. Lakini unahitaji hekima itokayo kwa Mungu ambayo inajaliwa kupitia lehema na neema ya Mungu ili tuweze kuufikia upeo wa imani yetu. Kama tulivyosikia katika somo letu la pili kutoka barua ya mtakatifu Petro. Wakati Nyoyo zetu zitakuwa zimelehemiwa na Mungu, zitakuwa zimepokelewa na Mungu, zimetakazwa. Basi hatuna budi ila kuingia kwake. Bwana, tunahitaji msaada wako, tunahitaji lehema zako. Kuna madhara ya kutoamini. Na kwa kifupi ningetaka tu kutaja machache. Kitu cha kwanza cha mtu ambaye hajasadiki anasongwa na uoga kama tulivyoona mitume bado hawajaamini ya kwamba Kristu amefufuka wiki ambayo imepita katika masomo yetu tume, tumekuwa tukielezewa jinsi Yesu amedhihirisha ufuko wake mbele ya wanawake wali tuliosikia tuli Jumapili mitume wengine vile vile tumesikia wengine imani yao bado haijakoma wameanza kuhangaika wametoka Yerusalemu wanaelekea Emao hawajui waendako na haya ni madhara ya kutoamini bado hawajasadiki ya kwamba Kristo amefufuka na kutosadiki kwao kutawaperekea na hata kuaibika kutawaperekea mpaka kutojua yale ambao wanastahili kuyajua 
kwa sababu kitu cha pili na madhara ya pili ambayo huletwa na kutosadiki kutokuwa na imani ni kutokuwa na, na utulivu 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 ni kitu cha maana katika maisha ya mwanadamu na usipotulia pale ulipo uwe mtu wa kuhangaika baraka zitakapokuja neema ya Mungu itakapokuwa ikikushukia je itakupata ukiwa katika hali gani itakupata ukiwa katika hali ya kusema ni lazima ni muone na nione mikono yake na ubavu wake ili niweze kuamini huwe is who ni Mungu atakugojea ama ni wewe utagojea Mungu ukosefu wa utulifu bado unatupelekea baraka zetu na tunazikosa kabisa na mifano michache tu katika kipindi hicho cha kwa na pasaka mtu wa kwanza asiyekuwa na utulivu katika mafundisho yake ni Judas na diposa Judas kwa sababu hakuwa na utulivu katika mafundisho ya Mwenyezi Mungu hata hakujua hakudhamini yale ambayo yalikuwa yaletwe na mwokozi na diposa alienda kinyume na wengine akamsaliti nani Yesu Mtume wa pili ambaye amekosa utulivu ni mwenye tumesoma katika e, somo letu la injili. Swali ni je, alikuwa wapi? Kwa nini alikuwa amegawanyika na wale wengine? Na Kristo aliwaambia Jumapili alipotuma akina e, e, Mary Magdalene, endeni muambie dugu zangu, watulie Yerusalemu kwa sababu hapo dipo tutakapopatana na wao. Jambo la tatu au madhara ya tatu ambayo husababishwa na ukosefu wa imani kutoaminiana Na janga hili limetusonga sana katika maisha yetu haswa maisha ya kifamilia maisha ya kidugu tunakosa kuaminiana Na Tomaso akitoa mfano huo amekuja amehadithiwa na wanafunzi wenza Ya kwamba Bwana ametutokea na tumemuona lakini hawaamini hata Anasema lazima mimi ni muone. Katika maisha yetu ya ndoa usipomwamini bwanako, usimomwamini bibi yako, unaanza kuishi maisha ya kuhangaika. Maisha ya chuki. Na ya kuona ya kwamba kama wewe hustahili kukaa katika eneo hilo. Dugu zangu, tunapopokea baraka na neema na huruma ya Mwenyezi Mungu tutaacha hayo yote uoga tulio nao utaondolewa na utaondolewa kwa jia gani jia bwana Yesu Kristo amewaajia na kuambia pokeeni amani msiwe na wasiwasi nimewatia huru na msibabaishwe na yeyote jambo habari limebaki ni kuhubiri ijiri na muende kokote duniani mukihubiri ijiri ya Bwana na mbatiza watu kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu kwa sababu huu ndio wito wenu Hii ndio kazi mlioandaliwa na Bwana Na kwa hivyo msiangalie wengine watakavyokuwa wakiwatazama nini Msiasikilize mafundisho yao na maneno ambayo ni potovu basi msikilize yale ambayo niliyowaeleza na baada ya kufuata hao wote katika somo letu la kwanza Tunasikia kwamba mitume baada ya yote waliungana pamoja walikuwa wakitembea familia kwenda familia nyingine na huko walikuwa wakisali pamoja walikuwa walikirimega neno la Mwenyezi Mungu pamoja na baada ya yote kusaidiana kuoneana huruma kusambaza huruma ya Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu tayari ilishi, ilikuwa ishawekwa ndani yao walikuwa washaipokea na kwa hivyo hawakuwa na budi. Ni mwaliko wetu siku ya leo. Tunaposherekea hii huruma ya Mwenyezi Mungu anayo juu yetu sisi, tumuombe akaweza kuponya nyoyo zetu, atie nyoyo zetu nguvu na ujasiri ili tuweze kusimama wima, tuweze kutangaza yale ambayo tumeitiwa na juu ya yote tumtukuze kwa sababu yeye ni Bwana mwenye wokovu. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo.
tusimame tukiri imani na sadiki kwa Mungu mmoja mba wa mbingu na dunia na vitu vyote vinavyoonekana na visivyoonekana na sadiki kwa bwana mmoja Yesu Kristo mwana wa pekee wa Mungu aliyezaliwa kwa baba tangu milele yote Mungu aliyetoka kwa Mungu mwanga kwa mwanga Mungu kweli kwa Mungu kweli aliyezaliwa bila kuumbwa mwenye umungu mmoja na baba ambaye vitu vyote vimeumbwa naye alishuka toka binguni kwa ajili yetu sisi wanadamu na kwa ajili ya wokovu wetu pata mwili kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu kwake ye Bikra Maria akawa mwanadamu akasurviwa kwa ajili yetu sisi kwa mamlaka ya Pontius Pilate akateswa akafa na akazikwa siku ya tatu akafufuka kadri ya maandiko akapaa mbinguni ameketi kuume kwa baba ta kuja tena kwa utukufu kwa hukumu wazima na wafu na ufalme wake hautakuwa na mwisho na sadiki kwa roho mtakatifu bwana amleta uzima atokae kwa baba na mwana anayeabudiwa na kutukuzwa pamoja na baba na mwana anayeabudiwa na na sadiki kwa kanisa moja takatifu katoliki la mitume na ugama ubatizo mmoja kwa maondoleo ya dhambi na gojea na ufufu kwa wafu na uzima wa milele ijayo amin baada ya matukio ya ijumaa ku wafuasi walipoteza imani yao lakini imani yao halifu iliamshwa tena na Yesu mfufuka aliyewatokea mara kwa mara Imani yetu ni dhaifu sana. Tuamshie imani yetu kama ilivyoamsha imani ya mitume wako. E Bwana, e Bwana tukuomba mtusikie. Mtume Tomaso hakutaka kuamini bila kuonyeshwa alama za makovu yako. Tujalie kuonja nguvu yako katika maisha yetu ili kuimarisha imani yetu. E Bwana, e Bwana tukuomba mtusikie najua kwamba hatuwezi kukuamini bila kusaidiwa na neema yako. Utatangulizie neema yako na kuimarisha imani na upendo wetu. E Bwana, e Bwana tuakuomba ukusikie. Dalili chache zinazotosha kuamsha imani yetu. Utujalie kuona dalili chache za enzi yako katika maisha yetu ili kutuimarisha kuwa mitume wako. E Bwana ni Bwana tukuomba ukusikie. Ulisema, wenye heri wasioona na kusadiki, uimarishe imani yetu ili kutuwezesha kukuamini kwa moyo wote. E Bwana, Bwana tukuomba ukusikie. Salamu Maria, umejaa neema, Bwana yunawe, umebarikiwa kuliko wanawake wote, na Yesu mzao wa tumbo lako umebarikiwa. Maria mtakatifu mama wa Mungu utuombe sisi wakosefu e Mungu baba sisi binadamu tuna shida zetu katika kuamini bila kuona kwa macho yetu kwa kibinadamu Utuangaze macho ya mioyo yetu ili tuone kwa imani yale yasiyoonekana bado kwa macho yetu Tunakuomba kwa ajili ya mwanao wa Yesu Kristo Anayeishi na kutawala pamoja naye katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele. Jodi watu wote tutoe. Joni watu wote tutoe. Joni tutoe sadaka. Joni tutoe sadaka Kila mtu anze kutoa Kila mtu anze kutoa Joni tutoe sadaka Joni tutoe sadaka Oh 
Salini dugu ili sadaka yangu na yenu ikubalike kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Amen. sadaka mkanoni mwako kwa sifa na utukufu kwa jina lake. Na pia kama faya tusisi na mafaya ya salaki na utukufu. E Bwana tunakuomba uvipokee vipaji wanavyokutolea watu wako pamoja na wanao waliozaliwa upya ili wakiisha kufanywa wapya kwa kuliungama jina lako na kwa ubatizo wapate kuifikiri heli ya milele kwa ajili ya Kristu Bwana wetu. Amen. Bwana awe nanyi. Inweni mioyo. Tumshukuru Bwana Mungu wetu. Kweli ni vyema na haki tendo la kufaa na la kuleta wokovu. Tukutuguze kila wakati ye Bwana lakini hasa siku hii E, ya kutangaza utukufu wako kwa kuwa Kristo Pasaka wetu ametolewa sadaka yeye ndiye mwana kondoo wa kweli aliyeondoa adhabu za ulimwengu yeye ndiye aliyeangamiza mauti yetu kwa kufa kwake na alitengeneza upya uzima na kufufuka kwake kwa sababu hiyo katika upeo wa furaha ya kipasaka ulimwengu mzima unashangilia lakini pia nguvu za mbinguni na majeshi ya malaika wanaimba utenzi wa utukufu wako wakisema bila mwisho Mungu wa majeshi bingu na dunia zimeja utukufu kwa sana juu mbinguni mbarikiwa naye kuja kwa jina la Bwana kwa sana juu mbinguni E Bwana kweli umtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilichoumbwa naye kinakusifu kwa haki maana kwa ajili ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na kwa uwezo tedaji wa roho mtakatifu unavitia uzima vitu vyote na kuvitakatifuza wanti kukusanya watu kwako ili toka mawio ya jua hata macho yake dhabihu safi itolewe kwa jina lako basi e Bwana tunakusihi kwa unyenyekevu vipaji hivi ambavyo tumekutolea ili uvitakaze upende kuvitakatifuza kwa roho huyo huyo ili viwe mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyetuadhimisha tufumbo haya maana usiku yeye mwenyewe alipotolewa alitoa mkate na akikushukuru aliubariki akaumega na akawapa wafuasi wake akisema toaeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akitoa kikombe na kukushukuru alikibariki na akawapa wafuasi wake akisema 
Toaeni mnywe nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya na ramilele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu fumbo la imani kifocha ko na kutukuza ufufu kwa wako Kwa hiyo e Bwana tunapoadhimisha ukubusho wa mateso ya mwanao yaletayo wokovu pamoja na ufuko wake wa ajabu na kupaa kwake binguni na tunapoutazamia ujio wake wa pili tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii iliyo hai na takatifu tunakuomba uyaangalie matoleo ya kanisa lako na kwa kumtambua yeye aliye kafala ambaye alitaka kutulizwa kwa sadaka ya kifo chake utujalie sisi tunaotiwa nguvu kwa mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujazwa roho wake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili mmoja na roho mmoja katika Kristo. Yeye atufanye sisi tuwe kwa kosa la wakati milifu ya milele ili tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na wateule wako kwanza kabisa pamoja na bikira Maria mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mwake wa bikira na mitume wako wenye heri na washahidi wako watukufu watakatifu wote ambao tutategemea kupata daima msaada wa maombezi yao mbele zako tunakuomba e bwana huyo aliye kafala ya upatanisho wetu alete amani na wokovu duniani kote upende kuliimarisha katika imani na mapendo kanisa lako linalosafiri hapa duniani pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco askofu wetu Filipo Anyolo na Daudi Kamau msaidizi wake pamoja na maaskofu wote wa kilelo wote na watu wote unaowafanya kuwa taifa lako msikilize kwa wema sala za jamaa hii ulioita hapa mbele yako e baba ulie mtakatifu kwa huruma yako uwakusanye kwako wanao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani. Uwapokee kwa wema katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu na wote walioaga dunia waki, wakiwa wamekupendeza. Nasi tunatumaini kufika katika ufalme huo ili pamoja tushibishwe milele na utukufu wako. Kwa jina ya Kristu Bwana wetu ambaye kwa jina ya jia yake Unaujalia ulimwengu mema yote. Kwa ajili yake na pamoja naye na ndani yake, wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi, katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu, unapata heshima na utukufu wote, milele na milele. Na kwa kulitia gizo la mwokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema Baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike sakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku utsamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehea na sisi walio tukosea usitutie katika visawishi E Bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote, utujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu. Kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako, tuopolewe daima na dhambi. Bwana tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote. Tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heli na ujio wa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo. Amen wako na nguvu na utukufu. E Bwana Yesu Kristo uliyewaambia mitume wako Amani na waatieni amani yangu na wapa 
Usistazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako. Upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako. Unayeishi na kutawara milele na milele. Amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi. Mpeane amani. Tazameni mwana kondoa wa Mungu tazama anayeondoa dhambi za ulimwengu eli yao walioalikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoa e bwana sistahili uingie kwangu lakini sema neno tu na roho yangu itapona
sala baada ya kumenyo roho ya Kristo nitakase mwili wa Kristo niokoe damu ya Kristo ni changamche matunje babu ya Kristo ya nyoshe mateso ya Kristo nguvu ya nizidishie e Yesu mwema unisikilize katika madonda yako unifiche usiku usiku ulinitengane nawe saa ya kufa kwangu niite Uniamuru kwako nije na watakatifu wako nikutukuze milele na milele amina leta mkono wako na kuutia katika umbavu wangu na usikose kuwa na usikose imani bali uwe muamini haleluya tuombe e Mungu Mwenyezi tunakuomba utujalie ili sakramenti ya kipasaka tuliyoipokea iendelee kufanya kazi daima katika roho zetu kwa jina Kristu Bwana wetu kila wakati leo ni Jumapili ya huruma ya Mungu tarehe sita karibuni kwa matangazo leo kama vile padri alivyotanguliza padri Peter Njoroge amejiunga nasi kwa misa ya shukrani baada ya upadilisho wake mwezi wa Februari mwaka huu alihudumu hapa kama mseminaristi kwa mwaka mmoja sote tunaomba tujiandae kumpongeza na kumzawadi tunazo baasha kwenye viti ambazo tumekalia nyeupe naomba tuendelee kujiandaa itakapomaliza matangazo basi tutakuja kumpongeza baasha za pasaka zipo kwenye pigeon boxes tafadhali chukua na uirudishe pamoja na matoleo ya pasaka hizo baasha ziko na chapa ambayo imeandikwa Easter kwa hivyo tusichanganyikiwe Ubatizo wa watoto wachanga ufanyika kila Jumamosi ya mwisho ya mwezi ukitanguliwa na mafundisho kwa wazazi na wasimamizi. Mafundisho hayo hufanyika kila Alhamisi saa kumi na moja na nusu. Wazazi wanashauriwa kuchague majina ya watakatifu ambao yanapendekezwa na kanisa ili kujiandikisha tembelea ofisi ya parokia siku za wiki. Kitubio ufanyika kila siku hata Jumapili kwenye chumba ya kitambo cha kuabudu. Masaa ni kama ifuatayo. Siku za wiki kuanzia saa kumi jioni, Jumamosi saa nne asubuhi na saa kumi jioni. Jumapili ni saa moja asubuhi hadi saa saba mchana. Siku ya Ijumaa ni siku yetu ya maungamo na tunayo kitubio siku mzima. Misa ya watoto ufanyika Jumapili ufanyika Jumapili tatu za kwanza ya kila mwezi saa tatu na nusu asubuhi kwenye ukumbi mkuu Jumapili ya nne ya kila mwezi watoto ujiunga nasi hapa kanisani kwenye misa pia mafundisho ya watoto wa PMC ufanyika kila siku ya Jumapili saa tano tunawakumbusha wazazi na walezi wa walete watoto mapema Husiana na watoto jana walikuwa watoto wa PMC 
walikuwa na music festival uh, katika Dekania na wakawa wakaweza kufuzu katika daraja la pili tuweze kuwapigia makofi tunajulishwa kwamba wata wameitimu na kwamba wataenda kwenye ngazi ya pili ambayo ni diocese tarehe 20 mwezi huu tuzidi kuwaombea matangazo kwa ajili ya watoto wa MYM Jumapili jayo tunawaalika watoto wetu wote wa MYM miaka kumi na nne hadi kumi na nane kwa mkutano na padri anayesimamia vijana saa tatu asubuhi jumba la Cardinal Lotunga Annex orofa la saba huu mkutano muhimu kwao kwa sababu ni sehemu ya maandalizi ya misa yao pamoja na skofu mkuu Filipa Nyolo Jumamosi tarehe ishirini na tisa mwezi huu kwenye uwanja wa St Mary's Songari. Wazazi na walezi tafadhali mtusaidie kufikisha ujumbe huu wa watoto hawa. Tanzia. Tunamfariji mtawa wetu Emily anayefanya kazi hapa kwetu kufuatia kifo cha mjomba wake kutano na mipango ya mazishi hufanyika kila siku ya wiki kwenye kumbi wa mtakatifu Mother Teresa Hall jumba la Cardinal Lotunga Annex Orofa la saba. raha ya milele umpe mtumishi wako e bwana na mwanga wa milele umwangazie hapo mzike kwa amani tangazo la ndoa William Ayer mwanae John Ayer na Helen Ayer anayeishi Nairobi Angependa kufunga ndoa takatifu na Marcelin Adri Adhiambo binti Edward Onyango na Edwina Achieng anayeishi Nairobi. Yeyote ambaye ana kizuizi kwa ndoa hii anaombwa kumjulisha baba paroko ama padri yeyote anayefanya kazi kwenye parokia hii. Mwisho wa matangazo. Nichukue fursa hii kuwashukuru wote kwa kuweza kushirikiana vyema, kuweza kufanikisha misa hii. Vile vile ni mshukuru Padri Peter Joroge kwa kuweza kuadhimisha misa hii akisaidiana na Padri Joseph na Padri Michael na dikon wetu ambaye ni mtarajiwa Padri uh, Dikon Geoffrey na hivi basi nilivyotanguliza kwamba ni siku ya kumpongeza Padri Peter kwa heshima na kuomba Padri uweze kujongea hapa mbele ukizindikishwa na, na shemasi Jofri anayesoma kwako akitarajia siku yake tuzidi pia kumuombea ili tuje tukipongeza. Tafadhali sasa ni wakati wetu wa kuweza kumpongeza kwaya mkitupea wimbo. Karibuni. Moyo moyo wangu wa mtukuza Bwana moyo yangu inafurahi moyo
Moyo, moyo wangu wa tukuza bwana roho roho ya inafurai atukuze baba na mwana na ya roho mtakatifu leo kesho atamilele kwa shangwe milele amina Moyo, moyo wangu wa mtu kuza bwana roho roho yangu inafurahi tuweze kuwashangilia wote kwa makofi na vigelegele tafadhali kwa hivyo padri tunakuahidi sala zetu nasi tunazidi kuomba uweze kutuombea Mungu akubariki Santeni sana baba paroko wetu father simon kamomoe na mapadre wote ambao wanahudumu hapa tuwashukuru nyote tuwamshukuru mungu kwa sababu ya kipaji cha father peter ambaye alihudumu hapa na kazi nzuri aliyoifanya father peter baada ya ubadilisho wake ameanza kazi katika parokia bapo alitumwa parokia ya watakatifu petro na paulo kule kiambu kama vile tumeambiwa tuzidi kumuombea na sisi najua atakutukumbuka katika maombi yake ili na yeye katika huduma yake Mwenyezi Mungu amshikilie vilivyo na awe kielelezo chema sio tu kwa wakristu ambao anawahudumia bali kwa kila mmoja wetu na kwa wale ambao wanamfuata kama vile tumeambiwa Shemasi Joyfree wanaona kielelezo chema kwake kwa hivyo kwa sababu ya zawadi zenu ambazo mmempatia na washukuru nyote na kumsii vile vile fadha hii siwe ni mwisho hapa parokia hii ni nyumbani kwako kila wakati ambapo ungetaka kuja kukumzika chumba ni kikubwa pale tungefurahia kukuona ukiadhimisha misa kwa niaba yetu na kwa hivyo tumekukaribisha usichoke kuwa pamoja nasi sasa na mwalika fadha pita patie baraka ya mwisho na kabla ya baraka aseme nasi karibu sana fadha Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati e, bila shaka leo ni siku ya kutoa shukrani zangu katika madhabahu hii kwanza kwake ye Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hatua ambayo ametuzamadi nayo kipaji cha ukuhani kwa unyenyekevu tunamuomba azidi kutembea nasi ili tuweze kutekeleza wajibu wetu kwa jai inayostahili pili shukrani zangu zinaenda kwa mapadri wetu wote na kwa niamba ya wale ambao hawako hapa father maiko e, natoa shukrani zangu kwa sababu nilipokuwa e, e, hapa basirika nilikuwa nahitaji malezi ili niweze kupiga hatua ambayo nimeipiga kwa wakati huu. Na namshukuru Mungu kwa kunipa nyinyi kama wakuwa wazazi wangu wa kunelea wakati huo. Na ninamshukuru kwa sababu wakati ule ambao nilikaa hapa Basilika mimi sijawahi rara kama nimekasirika juu yenu. Hapana. Na kwa hivyo tuliishi vyema tukafanya kazi yetu inavyostahili na diposa Mungu alitubariki na anazidi kutubariki kwa wako wa kwenu wa Kristu mimi nawaahidi zana zangu na tuzidi kuombeana rehema ya Mungu na neema zake izidi kukaa juu yenu tunawaombea baraka mbarikiwe kabisa familia zenu zibarikiwe Mungu ambariki hata watoto wenu na hata kazi zenu zote na juu ya yote awalinde kutokana na maovu ya muovu shetani tumsifu Yesu Kristo tusimame kwa baraka ya mwisho bwana awe nanyi
Baliki Baba na Mwana na Omtakatifu Nendeni nani Haleluya Haleluya Wasafiri na walio manyumbani, walio kazini na walio likizoni, walio kifungoni na walio hospitalini, walio mjini na walio vijijini, baada ya ibada au badala ya kazi, heri njema na baraka tele za sikukuu. Sikukuu ni sikukuu. Ule omena au ingho, ule mbuzi au mbuzi ulaya, ule ngombe au swara, ule sungura au bata, sikukuu ni sikukuu tu. Ule ugali kwa sukuma au chapo kwa ndengu, ule matoke au maragwe, ule mukimo au mudhokoi, ule mchelenjeri, viazi karai au biryani special. Sikukuu ni sikukuu. Popote ulipo, chochote ulacho, kapu chin TV inakutakia wewe na wapendo wako. Heri njema na baraka za pasaka. Kristu mfufuka na awe mwanga katika maisha yako. Endelea kutazama. Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho chako Katoliki I would like to appreciate the Capuchin TV. We are very, very grateful. And we always encourage people of goodwill, our Christians, to continue supporting the Capuchin TV. The only Catholic TV. The only one in Kenya. Imagine, the only one. So let us support them. They cover most of our masses here at the Basilica. So as individuals, as groups, let us support uh, Capuchin TV. Because they continue uh, reaching out reaching out to the people of God, wherever they are, to be more and more uh, nourished uh, spiritually. So, Captain TV, thank you. May God bless your ministry. Tuendele kufanya kazi, baby number 5106789, account name.
Caps TV. My dear brothers and sisters, as well as all people of goodwill, peace be with you all. My name is Father Arnold Shirima, the superior of the Capuchin brothers in Kenya. I come to you all on behalf of Capuchin brothers, requesting for your financial support towards the construction of phase two of our headquarters residential home in Westlands, Rafter Road, Nairobi. The total cost of this project is 25 million. We shall have fundraising on the 10th of June, 2023, at St. Jude Chapel, Rafter Road, Westlands, in Nairobi. The Holy Month begins at 11.30 a.m., followed by the fundraising. You can send your contribution through M-Pesa pay bill number 7062124. Accounts name, put your name. Thank you for your generous contribution. May Almighty God bless you all and your families. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. na baraka za pasaka kwako mpenda mtazamaji wa runinga captain jumapili tarehe 30 mwezi Aprili mwaka huu kwa mali kwa baba paroko padri fostili tanda runinga captain tutaungana na umini wa parokia mtakatifu yosefu mfanyikazi enola lamudak jimbo la nakuru Itakuwa ni adhimisho la miaka arobaini tangu parokia hiyo kuanzishwa rasmi mwaka elfu moja kenda mia temanini na tatu. Ibada ya misa takatifu itaanza saini ya asubuhi ikiongozwa na mwashamu David Kamao askofu msimamizi wa kitume wa jimbo la Nakuru. Sherehe hiyo itafanyika kwenye uwanja wa parokia hiyo. Kumbuka haya yote yatakufikia kokote utakapo kuwa kupitia Runinga Captain pamoja na mtandao wetu wa kijamii. Runinga Captain inawapongeza baba paroko pamoja na umini wa parokia mtakatifu Yosefu Mfanyikazi Enola Lamudak Jimbo la Nakuru kwa mafanikio hayo. Endelea kutazama Runinga Captain kitambulisho chako katoliki. O Francis states that religious people must go out through the door to seek and meet the people. Have the courage to go against the tide of this culture of efficiency, this culture of waste, encountering and welcoming everyone in solidarity and fraternity. Consecrated to God, Na wate ule hawa 
Upende kuwa bariki na kuwa takasa. They are given to their brothers and sisters to bring the light of Christ wherever the shadows are darkest to spread his hope to discourage hearts. Missions of Hope is a program that highlights the services rendered by religious men and women in their efforts to render services in imitation of Jesus, their master. Missions of Hope. We inspire, transform, and give hope. Missions of Hope. With me, Sister Esther Moturi. We are going to highlight different apostolates and missions that are carried out by different religious men and women. Parokia ni kitovu cha maisha na utume wa kanisa mahala pa kunjilisha na kuatakatifunza watu wa Mungu ambao hatimaye utuma kutangaza kwa ujasiri furaha njili na kushuhudia huruma na upendo wa Mungu makala ya paroko na parokia ni makala maalum yanayokupa fursa ya kujua historia pamoja na maendeleo ya imani kutoka parokia mbali mbali parokia hii iko na miaka na tatu tangu ilipoanzishwa Umundo wa kanisa hii ulijengwa samani manake ilimalizika ili, ili 1959 na wale walijenga e, walijenga wakiangalia labda hapa ya hururu ni pali ni, ni central hii ndio ilikuwa inajulikana na watu wote ambao wa Afrika walikuwa na mbudu hapa kwa sasa naweza kushuhudia kwamba kanisa la Bwana linaendelea mbele kwa msaada wa Mungu Parokia hii tumebarikiwa kwa njia kipekee kwa sababu huduma kwa Kristo inawezekana kwa sababu ya uwepo ya hao watao na pia zaidi mapadri ambao wanaishi katika eneo hili. Kwenye vituo uh, viko uh, porini porini kidogo ni lazima ku, kuimarisha kidogo imani. Wako na imani lakini wanataka mtu aimarishe imani yao. Chama cha wanawake hapa kilianzishwa mwaka wa 1982. Our parish imebarikiwa sana Ndiyo the only the palace ikona two formation houses kuhusu watumishi vikundi vya sala na aina ya huduma zinazopatikana katika parokia zetu kwa sababu tunataka kuendeleza hii hospitali yetu hudumia watu wa Mungu tukaona wanahitaji hiyo huduma mara nyingine hata madaktari labda wa government wanagoma na watu wanaumia kidogo na pia hapa mahali tunakaa na sehemu zingine hakuna hospitali nyingine karibu tuliona ni vizuri kishikiana kamiti yetu tuweza kufanya hospitali yetu kwa 24 hours. Kwa hivyo kwa sasa hivi hospitali yetu inafanya kazi usiku na mchana. Na tuko na clinical officers wawili, mmoja anashikilia mchana, mwingine anashikilia usiku. Tumeanza tena kikundi kingine cha kuwasaidia refugees to reach out kwa migrants. Je, ungependa tuangazie parokia yako? Ongea na baba paroko wako au viongozi wa parokia kisha mtualike kupitia kwa nambari ya simu 0717424866 au kipenda nambari ya arafa 2176000 Ni hapa tu kwenye runinga ya captain kitoa nambari moja cha imani na maadili ya Kikristo Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen a reading from the holy gospel according to john in the evening of that same day the first day of the week the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were for fear of the jews jesus came and stood among them he said to them peace be with you and showed them his hands and his side the disciples were filled with joy 
when they saw the Lord, and he said to them again, Peace be with you, as the Father sent me, so I am sending you. After saying this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. And for those whose sins you retain, they are retained. Thomas called the twin, who was one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. When the disciples said, We have seen the Lord, he answered, Unless I see the holes that the nails made in his hands and can put my finger into the holes they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he spoke to Thomas, Put your finger here. Look, here are my hands. Give me your hand. Put it into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Thomas replied, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. There were many other signs that Jesus worked and the disciples saw, but they are not recorded in this book. These are recorded so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing this, you may have life and life through his name in his fullness. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear God's family, dear brothers and sisters, this Sunday the church celebrates the Divine Mercy Sunday. And I am sure you are very familiar with the image or the picture of the Divine Mercy, Jesus and the two rays that flows from his heart. Now where are the origins of this devotion to the Divine Mercy? Our devotion to the Divine Mercy is rather recent. It all began with a young religious nun by name Sister Faustina. Her actual name was Helena Kowalska, who died in a convent of the congregation of the Sisters of Our Lady of Mercy in Krakow in Poland on the 5th of October 1938. That is about 35, 85 years ago. She came from a very poor family that had struggled hard on their little farm during and after the terrible years of the First World War. Sister had only three years of very simple education, so you can say she studied up to class three. Hers were the humblest tasks in the convent, usually in the kitchen or in the vegetable garden or as a porter. The church received the devotion to the Divine Mercy through that simple, uneducated nun. It happened on the 22nd of February, 1931. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ appeared to her, bringing with him a wonderful message of mercy for all mankind. And this is what Sister Faustina wrote in her diary under this date of 22nd February, 1931. She wrote, in the evening, when I was in the cell, I became aware of the Lord Jesus clothed in a white garment. One hand was raised in blessing, the other hand was touching the garment at the breast. From the opening of the garment at the breast, there came up forth two large rays, one red, one other pale. In silence and gazed intently at the Lord, my soul was overwhelmed with fear, but also with great joy. After a while, Jesus said to me, Paint an image according to the pattern you see, with the inscription, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Sometime later, we don't know exactly when, our Lord explained to her the meaning of these rays. He said, the pale ray stands for the water which makes souls religious, righteous. The red ray stands for the blood, which is the life of souls, the water, the blood. 
baptism and the Holy Eucharist. These two rays issued forth from the depths of my most tender mercy at that time when my agonizing heart was opened by a lance on the cross. Fortunate is the one who will dwell in their shelter, for the just hand of God shall not lay hold of him. In other words, fortunate are those who receive the holy baptism and the holy receive holy communion, the holy body and the blood of Jesus and live united with Jesus. The celebration of this feast is actually connected with another person, John Paul II, Saint John Paul II. You know, after the revelation, immediately after the revelation, the local bishop of Sister Faustina was very doubtful. So he forbid the devotion also because of a bad translations that were made from Polish to Latin and that bad translation influenced negatively many people including his bishop. But when uh, when John Paul II, by the time he was called Karl Wojtyla, became the Archbishop of Krakow, he decided to read the test again and she realized that this was a true revelation through communication from God and he decided to open it up for the faithful of the diocese, archdiocese of Krakow. Later in the providence of God, he became the Holy Father, the Pope, and then he wrote one of his first encyclicals on divine mercy, Divis Misericordia, and then spoke about it and promulgated this devotion or spread this devotion to the to the heart of to the divine mercy and he said when he uh, elaborated on the mystery of the divine mercy he said there has never been a time when mercy was more necessary as our times and look at it the last century 20th century saw two world wars and then we saw the abortion of millions of children and right now we are living through that there is so much sin in this world and what can bolt, blow, uh, remove sin from this world only God's mercy and so we who believe in the Lord Jesus are being called to cry out to God trusting in Jesus death on the cross and say to have mercy on us on us and on the whole world. This is the mystery of the divine mercy. And we have the beautiful prayer of the chaplet of divine mercy. When we invoke God's mercy on us, on all sinners, or those who have left the church, those who are cold-hearted, those who are lukewarm, we all need God's mercy. Let us now look on the, at the readings of this Sunday. The readings of today, this Sunday, speak about three groups of people. The first group, the apostles, or the twelve. And then the second group, the early Christian community of, of Judea, that is mentioned in Acts. Third, the group of Christians, communities to which St. Peter wrote a letter sometime 30 years, 30 years after the resurrection of Jesus. And the fourth is our own communities. In the case of the first one, the community of the, of the apostles, the disciples in Jerusalem, we are told the Lord Jesus appeared on the very night of the resurrection to the eleven. The Judas was, of course, gone. And then a week later, to the, uh, to the eleven plus others gathered to the, together with them. And to this, to these people, Jesus appeared. And what did Jesus offer to them? Faith. Faith in his resurrection. Faith in the cross. And this is what is shown in the reading of today. Where the Lord appeared on the first time, on the day of the resurrection, and and Thomas was not there. Later, Thomas was told about the apparition, and he refused to believe. Remember, Thomas is not someone who is weak in his faith. He is someone who stood for the Lord Jesus throughout his life. You may recall when Lazarus had died, and Jesus decided to go to Bethany to see Lazarus and the family, though Lazarus had died, uh, others told Jesus, don't go, you know, they, they want to kill you. But Thomas said, let us go with him and die with him. So Thomas is not a weak person. He's someone who is willing to take risk 
for Jesus. But we don't know what happened, why he was not there or when Jesus appeared on the first night of the resurrection, first day of the resurrection. And he was overcome with discouragement. He was very lonely, unhappy. He was a very disturbed man. And he heard the story of the apparition, Jesus appearing to them, and he dismissed as pure nonsense. So his reply to the apostles who said, we have seen the Lord, his answer was, unless I see his wounds, unless I put my finger, unless I put my hand, I will not believe. In other words, he was saying, I will never believe. It cannot be true, and it will never be true. And Thomas must have spent the whole of that week very unhappy, a week filled with the darkness, sadness, and he must have reprimanded the others. Look at your credulity, foolishness. You said you appeared, has he appeared again? No. Am I not right in telling you that this is all fruit of your imagination? But on the eighth day, Jesus appeared. And he did not have, he did not, uh, have to put his fingers and his hands for him. It was enough. The Holy Spirit came to the rescue of Thomas. And though Jesus said, put your finger here, look, here are my hands. Give me your hand, put into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Gee, Thomas believed in, without any of those. You might have seen pictures, images of Thomas touching the wound. But I believe Thomas never touched his wound. Uh, even if he had touched his wound, if the Holy Spirit had not helped him, he would have simply said it is a ghost. But it was not the touching. The movement of the Holy Spirit already at work within his heart brought Thomas to faith in the risen Lord. So much so, he said something which no one else could ever say. Looking at Jesus, the risen Lord, he called him and said, My Lord and my God, my Lord and my God. Meaning what? Jesus is my master from today. I surrender my existence to him. I will follow him. I will follow his teaching. He is my Lord, my master. And more, he is my God, the one who created me, the one who redeemed me, the one to whom I am moving. And I am sure... When the day when Thomas lay down his life, when he was peered to death by a certain group of Brahmins or Hindu fanatics in Mailapur in Chennai today, he said, he said, my Lord and my God, for he saw the Lord Jesus appearing him in all his glory. He laid down his life for that faith in the Lord Jesus. He preached his gospel, the gospel that was given to him by Christ in many parts of the world, especially towards the east, towards Persia, and finally in India where he laid down his life. And Thomas experienced that faith in Jesus brings peace, joy, forgiveness. It brings the Holy Spirit, the author of all these. He brings us Christ himself in person. It is through faith that we are assured that Christ enlightens us, guides us, sustains us at all times. And in the first Christian community, you see how that community made up of Jews, Greek-speaking Jews, the Hebrew-speaking Jews, make Hellenes, made up of, uh, of, uh, of other races, uh, uh, and also Samaritans, how they lived one in heart and soul because of their faith in Jesus. There was not, no words, it is mine, it is yours, everything was ours. They lived in fellowship, they lived in the apostolic teachings, they shared their goods with one another, that community was attended to, to prayer, they celebrated the Sunday Eucharist in love, in union, all because of the faith that the Lord gave to them, their faith in Jesus as their Lord and God. And so to Peter's community, they were being persecuted 30 years after the resurrection for their faith, but they persevered. And Peter wrote to them, Yes, I know your faith is tested by fire. 
But you are like the Israelites going through the desert. You will reach the promised land in heaven. Persevere in your faith. Persevere in the in uh, following Jesus as your master, as your Lord, as your God. Dear God's family, today we are called to believe in God's mercy. God's kindness, God's goodness. To accept Jesus as your Lord and God. To put your life under him. To follow his teaching. And to believe he is the one who created you. He is the one who redeemed you. He is the one who sanctifies you. Of course, united with the Father and the Holy Spirit. The one God, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. That is the heaven towards whom you and I are moving. May we reach there one day and we pray. Father in heaven, faith in your Son Jesus is a source of all good. Help us to submit to his plans of salvation, that confessing him on earth as our Lord and God, we may rejoice in his presence in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are still in Easter octave. Today is a low Sunday. Wish you once again a very, very happy Easter. May the risen Lord bless you. And I invite those of you who are listening to me, or you want to hear about, know about Philatia missionaries, I am their spiritual director. Please write to us, inquire with us. We are, uh, our website is philatheasmission.org and email is philatheascenter at yahoo.com. And you can call or send a message to me, 0722-798-710. Especially if you are interested in becoming a priest, a nun with us in the Philothea Missionary Society, or to join us as a Philothea lay missionary. God be with you. Tum si fiesi Christ. Kapuchin TV, kitambulisho katoliki. Hii April usiwachwe nyuma. Burudika na Star Times Kicham Pays. Unmissable sports action. Catch all the heat at the Confederations Cup. The pomp and color of the CAF Champions League. Recharge your monthly subscription today and get upgraded to the next high bouquet to enjoy exciting entertainment. Watch CR7 dazzle in the Saudi Pro League. Italy's best battle it out for the Copa Italia Cup. Strike it from there! And who will win the Bundesliga title? To finish. Recharge your monthly subscription today and get upgraded to the next high bouquet, Burudikana Star Times. On the road, link your decoder to the Star Times On app to make sure you don't miss a moment of your favorite team's sporting action on Star Times On. Watch anytime, anywhere. Star Times. Enjoy digital life. I'm proud of St. Mary's Primary School. It's the foundation to our future. It introduces rules and regulations right from nursery school. St. Mary's Primary School Ongata Rongai offers a strong fundamental elementary education to children in preparatory, primary and junior secondary school. Shule hii ilianzishwa miaka ya tisini chini ya wa missionary wa Komboni na imeendelea kukua kwa kasi na kutolea matoleo, uh, matokeo mema katika masomo na katika uh, malezi kamilifu ya watoto wanaopitia shule hii it enrolls children from different backgrounds different characters and appreciates different religion we are a faith-based mixed-day school under the Catholic Diocese of Ngong, run and managed by the Evangelizing Sisters of Mary. We have currently a population of about 653 learners, but the school can hold around a thousand and something learners. The school has earned a long-standing reputation for over 30 years of preparing youngsters for higher educational levels. Our school can comfort comfortably compete 
with giant schools nationally. This is a result of our fighting spirit and never say die attitude. St. Mary's Primary School thrives in the holistic formation of learners morally, academically and talent-wise with more pertinence in spiritual growth. Shule hii ambaye kwa katika mazingira ya kanisa watoto wanajiandaa vizuri kwa maisha ya sala wanahudhuria ibada kanisani kila alamisi wanashiriki katika neno la Mungu ku, kuimba wanawalimu ambao wanawaelekeza vizuri pia shule hii tunawasaidia wanafunzi kutambua talanta mbalimbali tuna ile brass band na CBC kweli tunaizingatia sana katika shule hii yetu in our school we not only do academic activities but also co curricular activities that include clubs such as music band, scouts club, wildlife club, we tomorrow. and also sports, football, volleyball, basketball, and, and athletics. We take pride in our pool of teaching and non-teaching staff who are experts in compassionate pedagogy. We have staff members who are well-formed, excellent, all round members who are competent to run the school efficiently and effectively. I'm proud of St. Mary's Primary School. There are guidance and counseling sessions that enable the learners to inculcate the Christian values in themselves. The school is a home to plenty state-of-the-art facilities attuned to the modern needs of learners. We have a vast, evergreen pitch, magnificent modern buildings that encompass classrooms, libraries, laboratory, computer room, home science room, a dining hall, and an administration block. Faa vyote vinao saidia mwanafunzi kweza kusoma vyema na kufaulu katika masomo. We also have enough buses to ferry pupils to and from school. St. Mary's School embraces this being as the backbone of our success. The school motto is discipline, knowledge, and wisdom. Enroll your child in St. Mary's Primary School on Gatarongai and let us cultivate in them the spirit of discipline, knowledge, and wisdom. Na nasema ukileta mtoto wako hapa ume, umepata mali pazuri na natuna kwa kikishia kwamba mtoto huyo watakuwa wakutegemewa kwa familia na kwa jamii na kwa taifa nzima. For enrollment procedures, visit us today at the heart of Ongata Rongai, 200 meters off Magadi Road in the vast Nairobi metropolitan. A very good conducive learning environment, quiet, far from noise, somehow interior from the main road. You can make inquiries to the school administration on 0112-706-628 Six two eight, or email us via St Mary's Primary ninety eight at gmail dot com. Na penda kwa karibisha nyote kwa shule yetu ya msingi ya mtakatifu Maria Onga Tarongai. Kila moja naweza kupata nafasi ya kuweza kumleta mtoto maana karo yetu eco friendly. Remember, a discipline child is a discipline community. Choose St Mary's Primary School and you won't regret academically. Choose St. Mary's Primary School Ongatarongai for a strong, endearing educational foundation.
Welcome to St. Matthew Mulumba Mission Hospital, a medical facility which provides quality, accessible healthcare services to all. St. Matthew Mulumba Mission Hospital is a Catholic faith based health facility owned by the Archdiocese of Nairobi and it's managed by the Dominican Missionary Sisters. Our charism as Dominicans is evangelization. Our missions are the ministries where we, involve, we are involved in health, education, social work, pastoral care, media, and other ministries. We are founded in 1877 and have grown and moved around the globe. St. Matia Mulumba Mission Hospital offer various services, the inpatient services and the outpatient services. It was started as a small dispensary in 1994 and it has tremendously grown to a, a level 4 hospital. We provide holistic care to all our clients and to all our patients. We have resort-oriented, friendly and resourceful medical staff who serve our patients with love and compassion. The patients are comfortable and they are well taken care of and they are receiving the quality care and that they are happy. We also offer services that require specialists, so we do have uh, orthopedic clinics, we have uh, obstetric and gynecologic clinic, we have uh, neurosurgical clinic, among other specialized uh, services that we offer. Uh, about the investigations that we do, uh, we offer radiological investigations from X-ray to ultrasound to CT scan. The hospital is accredited by NHIF and also we accept other medical insurances. In St. Matia Mulumba Hospital, we are fully accredited NHIF in contract B. Contract B means that we have both outpatient and inpatient. For outpatient facilities, one has to choose St. Matia Mulumba Hospital as their outpatient facility. Uh, you just dial star 155 hash and you follow a step-by-step -step instructions on your phone. For inpatient, we have several packages which are payable by NHIF and you don't have to choose a facility for that. We have maternity packages, uh, both normal and cesarean section. We have a surgical package which is usually done upon NHIF approval. Uh, we have a resident sanction who usually takes care of that. For the civil servants, we have a dental and uh, dental and optical services for the civil servants, which is fully payable by NHIF. And then we also accept cash payments uh, for the people who usually pay through cash. You can pay cash in form of and PESA. We also accept payments through credit cards. You can come and swipe your ATM to make your payments if you don't have maybe cash or M PESA. We have different kinds of insurances, the AR, the Britam, the Jubilee, and many others. There are more than 30 insurances that we have as partners in the hospital. Our laboratory is well equipped and is ISO certified. Our laboratory it's a level six according to Kenna's classification, so we are basically able to do most of the tests in-house. We also have the ICU and the HDU unit, which is the newest unit we have opened. We have the palliative ward where we take care of the cancer patients, and we also take care of the, uh, those bedridden patients who do not want to stay at home, but they want to be in the hospital because of their nursing care. We have Another new unit, the newborn unit, which is well furnished and it is uh, up and running. We have a satellite clinic also. Every Wednesday we have mass and every Friday at 7.30 in the morning. During the week that we do not have mass, we have the Bible sharing with the staff, where each staff preaches. We preach to one another and we share the word of God. And we pray to gather as one as we also move to the wards towards our patients to pray with them and also to give them our blessings. We are located at Makongeni in Tika off Garissa Road. Visit us or call us on 0734-915-779. You can also email us on 
medicalreports.matia@gmail.com. We provide affordable health care and lower prices whereby everybody can afford the prices that we offer in the hospital. St. Matia Mulumba Mission Hospital for compassion, care and love. And for more information about the Dominicans, you can contact us on 0728023920. Also the Sunday of have mercy on us for you alone are the Holy One you alone are the Lord you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father Amen let us pray God of everlasting mercy who in the very recurrence of the Paschal feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. All came upon everyone, because many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread in various houses and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love and yours forever. Let Israel sing his steadfast love and yours forever. Let the house of Aaron sing. His steadfast love and yours forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His steadfast love and yours forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. I was pushed hard so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. 
A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the, the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, a birth into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if for a little while you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold, that though perishable is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy, for you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You believe, Thomas, because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. It was evening on the day Jesus rose from the dead, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side, then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails, and my hand in his side, I will not believe. After eight days his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is the eighth day, the last day of this octave of Easter. This is the first day of the week, also in the, as the Jewish people were counting it. That's why in the Gospel it says, it mentions uh, the first day of the week. But um, this is also the Sunday of the Divine Mercy. So all those things, I hope that they fill us really with joy and with gratitude. We've been celebrating all those days really uh, recounting all those moments of the appearances of Jesus to, to his disciples, to the women, all this fear, joy, confusion, but also a great hope. And today the church once again comes to us to remind us of this, um, of this hope. And we heard, it, uh, we heard about it in the, in the second re reading, that by his great mercy he has given us a new birth into a living hope. And so today this is the Divine Mercy Sunday, and it's true that this is a great sign of God's love and care for us. That uh, the Lord is not coming to, to scold us, to reproach his disciples, but he's bringing a message of peace and a message of his mercy, that he comes really to forgive us, to embrace us. Today, Jesus, we hear Jesus inviting Thomas to put his fingers in the mark of the nails, to put his hand in his side. But really, I think that today we may, in a way, invert a little bit that situation and to say, Lord, touch my wounds. Touch my, the wounds of my life with your mercy. Touch the wounds of my, of my existence with your love. Because only if you enter into my life, really everything changes. Everything starts making sense. And so today we have this chance really to come to the Lord uh, as he really comes into our lives through the closed doors, through all those moments that we do not understand, that we fear, but Christ comes in. And he, for three times it is, it is said to us, Christ says to us, peace be with you. This is really, we can really rest in this. Peace be with you in all those moments that are, that in which we fear, in which we are so confused. Christ comes and says, peace be with you. Rest in me. Believe that I am the one who has answers for all your difficulties, all your sufferings, all your wounds. And so today, brothers and sisters, let us entrust ourselves to the mercy of God. It is so different than our mercy. It is very different. But we know what it is because we experience it through the forgiveness of sins. And so we enter into this Eucharist praising God, blessing him for all the work of salvation that he has done, that he is doing with us every day. Let us now stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Now with trust and confidence we offer our prayers to the Lord. We pray for the church, we pray for the Pope, for all those who have been called in this world to proclaim the good news of the resurrection, that they may never stop proclaiming the merciful love of God for this world. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all those in the daily TV Mass community who have asked to be including in our prayer intentions book that their faith in the risen Christ and in his healing presence among us might be strengthened, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We present to you, though, Lord, those prayers and intentions as well as those that remain within our hearts. We ask that you may welcome them and fulfill them according to your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, we will come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And in your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all hope, holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Francis our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, 
come spiritually into my heart as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. to our donors for the gift of this Mass. I would like to appreciate the Caption TV. We are very, very grateful. And we always encourage people of goodwill, our Christians, to continue supporting the Caption TV. The only Catholic TV. The only one in Kenya. Imagine, the only one. So let us support them. They cover most of our masses here at the Basilica. So as individuals, as groups, let us support uh, Caption TV because they continue uh, reaching out, reaching out to the people of God, wherever they are, to be more and more uh, nourished uh, spiritually. So Caption TV, thank you. May God bless your ministry. Tuendele kufanya kazi baby number five one zero six seven eight account name caps tv Nini Cottage Mission Hospital is a medical center of choice. The hospital offers 24-hour profound and holistic outpatient and inpatient services. We are equipped with modern medical facilities. Our services are patient-centered, delivered by friendly and compassionate staff. We are a NHIF accredited and we also accept covers from major insurance providers and schemes. We also have MediClaim cover, which covers AON for the teachers and the CIC for both Kenya Prison Police Service and the National Police Service. Our ambulance services are available round the clock. Visit Kiminini Cottage Mission Hospital today. We are strategically located at Kiminini Town of Kitale Webuye Highway. For more information, contact us on 0723. 644 or email us on kiminini hospital at yahoo.co.uk or visit our website at www.kiminini cottage hospital.com. Kiminini Cottage Mission Hospital. We treat God Heals.
you ready for a tasteful and memorable guest experience? Choose the exclusive Radix Hotel for an ideal place to stay and enjoy hospitality at its best. We are a hotel of its own kind. We are a hotel that uh, really attracts in morals and uh, the upbringing and the teaching of the church. We exemplify compassion in the hospitality industry through our top-notch accommodation and recreational facilities amplified by modern aesthetics. We are also a family-based oriented uh, uh, hotel whereby we support the morals and values of family who have got uh, that uh, abundance of uh, uh, smiley face and uh, goodness and we spread happiness to people by offering our services with that touch of uh, smile. The Radix Hotel guarantees you homely comfort and good taste with a variety of hotel services and facilities that are cut out for your budget and preference. The reason why we call ourselves a home away from home is because of the calmness that we offer to the facilities that we have allowed here. Our services include spacious affordable accommodation rooms, a restaurant with an assortment of delicious cuisines, fully fledged conference halls, open grounds with manicured lawns for outdoor events, clean swimming area, and a well-organized chapel for spiritual reflection. We also do offer food and restaurant services, uh, outside catering services, events and banquets, eh? and also we have some grounds whereby we host uh, corporate events and team building activities. We've got uh, 198 rooms, three conference halls to host various events and uh, trainings, workshops, and seminars. Be our guest today and experience the warmth and service of Christian hospitality. Uh, our menu is a broad, it covers broad spectrum. We cover both local food, uh, we cover uh, oriental food, as well as continental food. So everybody who comes here at the Radix is well catered for. Last time when I was here, I had the pumpkin soup and it looked wonderful. It was so tasty. The Radix Hostel offers a very wonderful service. We are located in Karen, Nairobi, off Langata South Road, next to Apostle of Jesus Shrine. We have the surrounding of uh, the most iconic places surrounding us. We just uh, two kilometers away from the iconic Nairobi National Park. We also have also some other various interesting sightseeing uh, alongside surrounding us. We have the Marty Bros at Gallery, just some few meters away from us. We also have the famous Karen Bricks and uh, Museum, located uh, also uh, within uh, a distance from us. We also have the famous uh, research center, International for Primate Research Institute, IPR, also located within a uh, walking distance from where we are located. When you residing or boarding with us, you needs are well catered for as you can have walk along in uh, one of uh, our main shopping malls like the Galeria shopping mall, the Well shopping mall and we also have uh, a petrol station just within uh, the vicinity of our hotel. Call our office at 0708-990451 or 0105-020-760 or 0794-897277 for inquiries and bookings. We can also write to us via email to reception at the ladixhotel.co.ke or at the reception the ladix at gmail.com or at info the ladixhotel.co.ke for updates about our services, offers, and special banqueting, follow us on Facebook at The Radix Hotel, Twitter handle at the underscore Radix underscore hotel, and Instagram at underscore Radix dot Nairobi. Welcome to The Radix Hotel. You are home away from home. The Radix Hotel, a true definition of your home away from home.
St. Luke's College of Health Sciences North Kinangop is certified by the Nursing Council of Kenya and TVET to offer diploma and certificate courses in nursing. We are currently offering uh, the Kenya Registered Community Health Nursing, that is the diploma. Every year we have two intakes, that is in March and September. Our diploma courses include Diploma in Kenya Registered Community Health Nursing, Diploma in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Diploma in Community Health Assistant, Diploma in Counseling Psychology, and Diploma in Health Records. We also have certificate courses in perioperative theatre technology, certificate in community health assistant, counselling psychology, certificate in health records and certificate in social work and community development. The college also offers KCSE bridging or NEC receipt for candidates who wish to enroll for diploma in nursing. We also have other programs that are supporting the college, like the bridging whereby we take next students who receive maybe one or two subjects and then once they qualify they join the nursing program. The college has been revamped to improve the quality of services and a new management of the Catholic Diocese of Nyahururu. The school started in 1991 and uh, the Catholic bishops and it has been uh, with the bishops since then until uh, March of uh, 2022 when it was handed over to the, to the diocese of Nyahururu. So when the bishop received the news and he came and said that now the school belongs to the diocese, we welcomed the idea and uh, now the hospital was asked to host also the, the school. So we have the same board of management and currently I'm the chairman so also the chairman of the school. We are located at a serene environment in the outskirts of Abadea Ranges in Nyandarwa County, approximately 20 kilometers from Naivasha town and adjacent to North Kinangop Catholic Hospital. Seize the opportunity in our ongoing May and September 2023 intakes. For further inquiries, contact the college principal on 0720-430-311 or 0780-430-312 or email us at kecstlux at yahoo.com. Kapuchin TV, Kitambulisho Katoliki. Na hii Kapuchin TV ni chombo kizuri sana na chombo hiki kazi yake ni evangelization. Kwa hivyo ningeomba mufanya mambo matatu. Jambo la kwanza tafadhali wewe enda uangalie Kapuchin TV kuna mambo mazuri sana kuna maombi Kuna watoto wanafanya mambo mazuri, kuna mafundisho, kuna misa takatifu kila siku. Kwa hivyo tafadhali ukipata nafasi utazane, utazame Kapuchin TV. Jambo la pili, uwaombe kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya. Manake ndio TV ya kipekee ya Catholic na mabishop wanaisupport kabisa manake inafanya kazi mzuri. 
kama leo kama kuna watu wako Italy wangependa kuangalia what is happening leo wangepata nafasi kwa hivyo muwaombe sana kwa hiyo kazi nzuri ambao wanafanya na jambo la tatu mwa support wewe wana paybill number watumie hata ni kama ni shilingi mbili kwa hivyo tafadhali mwa support mwatumie kitu kidogo kwa paybill number na mambo hayo ili waweze kuendelea na hiyo kazi kwa hivyo asatend father kwa hiyo kazi nzuri ambayo wanafanya tuendelee kufanya kazi paybill number 5106 8 account name caps tv wasafiri na walio manyumbani, walio kazini na walio likizoni, walio kifungoni na walio hospitalini, walio mjini na walio vijijini, baada ya ibada au badala ya kazi. Heri njema na baraka tele za sikukuu. Sikukuu ni sikukuu. Ule omena au ingho, ule mbuzi au mbuzi ulaya, ule ngombe au swara, ule sungura au bata, sikukuu ni sikukuu tu. Ule ugali kwa sukuma au chapo kwa ndengu, ule matoke au maharagwe, ule mukimo au mudhokoi, ule mchelenjeri, viazi karai au biryani special. Sikukuu ni sikukuu. Popote ulipo, chochote ulacho, Capuchin TV inakutakia wewe na wapendo wako. Heri njema na baraka za pasaka. Kristo mfufuka na awe mwanga katika maisha yako. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV kitambulisho chako katoliki Wellness are the most important things in your life. It impacts on how everything else happens and is received by you. Most of the times do we give it much attention as we should? That's why Capuchin TV is bringing you this health program every Friday starting from 9 a.m. to help you embark on the journey to wellness and living a healthy life. It is important to point out that mental health is more about wellness than sickness. Self-care is not selfish. Some of the factors that can make a big difference in health wellness are diet, enough rest, exercise, posture and avoiding use of alcohol. Enjoy this conversation with me Maureen Kimani every Friday from 9 a.m. on our health corner show here at Capuchin TV. Your health is your wealth. na baraka za pasaka kwako mpenda mtazamaji wa runinga captain jumapili tarehe 30 mwezi Aprili mwaka huu kwa mali kwa baba paroko padri fostili tanda runinga captain tutaungana na umini wa parokia mtakatifu yosefu mfanyikazi enola lamudak jimbo la nakuru
itakuwa ni adhimisho la miaka arobaini tangu parokia hiyo kuanzishwa rasmi mwaka elfu moja kenda mia temanini na tatu. Ibada ya misa takatifu itaanza saini ya asubuhi ikiongozwa na mwashamu David Kamao askofu msimamizi wa kitume wa Jimbo la Nakuru sherehe hiyo itafanyika kwenye uwanja wa parokia hiyo Kumbuka haya yote yatakufikia kokote utakapokuwa kupitia Runinga Captain pamoja na mtandao wetu wa kijamii Runinga Captain inawapongeza baba paroko pamoja na umini wa parokia mtakatifu Yosef mfanyikazi eneo la Lamudak Jimbo la Nakuru kwa mafanikio hayo Endelea kutazama Runinga Captain kitambulisho chako katoliki Kutoka Jimboni parokiani hadi vigango vyetu Runinga Captain inakuletea kipindi maalum cha paroko na parokia Hizi ni baadhi ya parokia tulizoziangazia Jimbo kula Nairobi, parokia mtakatifu Benadeta eneo la Ngoingo Adika. Parokia mtakatifu Matia Mulumba eneo la Makongeni Dika. Parokia Kristo Mfalme eneo la Kibra. Parokia mtakatifu Cherisa wa Vila eneo la Isili. Parokia Regina Cheli eneo la Karen. Parokia moyo mtakatifu wa Yesu eneo la Ngando Dagoreti, parokia mtakatifu Francisco Asizi eneo la Ruiru, parokia ya Maria mama yetu wa Milima Karmeli eneo la Ngarariga Limuru, parokia mtakatifu Peter Kleva katikati mwa jiji la Nairobi, parokia Divine Word au Diwopa eneo la Kayole, parokia mtakatifu Katarina wa Alexandria eneo la South B Parokia ya Utatu Mtakatifu eneo la Kariobangi, Parokia Kristo Mfalme eneo la Imbakasi, Parokia ya Mtakatifu Yosefu eneo la Loreto Limuru, na Kanisa la Mtakatifu Francisco Asizi kwenye eneo la Muhoko, katika Parokia Kristo Mfalme eneo la Gidurai 45. Jimbo kula Nyeri, Parokia Maria Mama wa Mungu eneo la Mwega. Jimbo la Ngong Katedrali ya Mtakatifu Yosefu Mfanyikazi Ngong mjini, parokia Mtakatifu Monika eneo la Gachaka, parokia ya Mama yetu wa Fatima eneo la Ungacharongai, parokia ya Bikira Maria Mtakatifu eneo la Ungacharongai, Jimbo la Nyaururu, Katedrali ya Mama Maria Immaculata Nyaururu mjini, Jimbo la Bungoma Parokia mtakatifu Maria Magdalena eneo la Kimachuni na parokia ya moyo safi ya Bikira Maria eneo la Bisifu Jimbo la Eldoret parokia Roho mtakatifu eneo la Langas Jimbo la Malindi parokia Maria mtakatifu eneo la Msaba Jimbo la Meru katedrali ya mtakatifu Yosefu Meru mjini Jimbo la Nakuru, parokia mtakatifu Timoteo, eneo la Total Molo. Parokia mtakatifu Francisco Asizi, eneo la Kiti. Jimbo la Machakos, parokia mtakatifu Petero, eneo la Makindu. Jimbo la Garisa, katedrali ya Maria Consolata, Garisa mjini. Jimbo la Marsabi, parokia Maria Immaculata, eneo la Loglogo. Parokia Bikira Maria Mpalizi wa Binguni eneo la Karare Jimbo kula Mombasa Parokia ya Msalaba Mtakatifu au Kipenda Holy Cross kwenye eneo la Chani Je Jimbo lako au parokia yako ipo Ungana naye Arbe Bonaya katika makala ya paroko na parokia kila Jumatatu saa unusu usiku Ni hapa tu kwenye Runinga Captain kitambulisho chako katoliki
Mwenye asubu ni mjana usiku Nita kuhibi ya mungu kwa kukashangwa Inanda bomba nita fitiga Ingele gele shangwe na kofi Nita kusiku mine neyote Asubu ni mjana usiku Nita kuhibi ya mungu kwa kukashangwa Inanda bomba nita fitiga my dear brothers and sisters, as well as all people of goodwill, peace be with you all. My name is Father Arnold Shirima, the superior of the Capuchin brothers in Kenya. I come to you all on behalf of Capuchin brothers requesting for your financial support towards the construction of phase two of our headquarters residential home in Westlands, Rafter Road, Nairobi. The total cost of this project is 25 million. We shall have fundraising on the 10th of June, 2023 at St. Jude Chapel, Rafter Road, Westlands in Nairobi. The Holy Man's begins at 11.30 a.m., followed by the fundraising. You can send your contribution through M-Pesa pay bill number 7062124. Accounts name, put your name. Thank you for your generous contribution. May Almighty God bless you all and your families. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
kila wakati Mungu ni mwenye huruma basi wa Kristo wapendwa familia ya Mungu na warikeni nyote katika adhimisho ya ibada hii ya misa Dominika ya pili ya Pasaka ambayo ni Dominika ya huruma ya Mwenyezi Mungu tuweze kutafakali kuadhimisha huruma hiyo miongoni mwetu Siku hii ya leo ama Jumapili ya leo ni ya kipekee kwa sababu tunajumuika naye Fadha Peter Joroge katika misa ya shukrani amerejea hapa kwetu alikuwa kidumu hapa kama mwanasameristi baadaye akawa shemasi na hivi sasa tumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ambaye amemuita katika wito wa kuwa padri naomba tumkaribishe kwa makofi Padre Peter atakuwa nasi na amekuwa nasi tangu asubuhi atasherekea na kuadhimisha ibada zote za misa siku hii ya leo akimshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu na sasa namuomba ili aweze kutuongoza katika ibada hii ya misa karibu sana Father Peter tumpigie makofi tena Kama watoto wachanga waliozaliwa sasa mtamani maziwa halisi ya kiroho mpate kukua katika wokovu haleluya kwa jina la baba la mwana na la roho mtakatifu neema ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na upendo wa Mungu baba na ushirika wa roho mtakatifu viwe nanyi nyote Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati leo hii ikiwa ni Dominika ya huruma ya Mungu vile vile natoa misa yangu ya shukran katika madhabahu hii maneno mangu ni mawili tu ya kwamba ni neema na rehema ya Mungu kwa yote na kwa wakati mwingi sisi ni watenda dhambi tuweze kukimia kidogo tukiri dhambi zetu tuweze kustahili kuadhimisha mafumbo haya matakatifu Na muungamia Mungu mwenyezi na anyi ndugu zangu kwani nimekosa mno kwa mawazo kwa maneno kwa vitendo na kwa kutofikisha wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa na anyi ndugu zangu nieni Mungu mwenyezi atuhurumie atusamehe dhambi zetu na atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele.
chifu na tunakuwa kunyumba baba tunakuchukuza tunakusifu tunakuwa chifu na tunakuwa kunyumba baba tunakuchukuza imani ya taifa lako takatifu katika kurudia kila mwaka kwa siku kuu ya pasaka tunakuomba uongezee neema ulioijalia ili wote watambue kwa kuelewa sahihi dhamana kuu ya ubatizo ulio watakaza ya roho iliyo wazaa upya na ya damu iliyo wakomboa kwa ajili bwana wetu Yesu Kristu mwanao Anayeishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele. Kuishi pamoja kindugu kumega mkate na kusali kila mtu akaingiwa na hofu kwa maana miujiza na ishara nyingi zilifanywa na mitume wote walioipokea imani walikuwa jamii moja na wakashirikiana vitu vyote wakauza mashamba na mali zao na wakashirikiana vitu vyote kuagawia watu wote kila mtu kadri ya mahitaji yake siku kwa siku walikutana hekaluni na walimega mkate nyumba kwa nyumba wakala pamoja kwa furaha na unyofu wa moyo walimtukuza Mungu na kupendwa na watu wote na kila siku Bwana aliwaongeza wale waliokuwa wakiokolewa 
neno la Bwana. Zaburi ya kuitikizana kiitikio Mshukuruni Bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele Mshukuruni Bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele Mshukuruni Bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele Mshukuruni Bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele Shukuru ni bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele Shukuru bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana wema wake ni wa milele
la pili Somo katika barua ya kwanza ya mtakatifu Petro Atukuzwe Mungu Baba wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo Huyu baba ametuzaa upya kwa huruma yake kubwa Tupate tumaini hai kwa ufufuko wa Yesu Kristo katika wafu Pia tupate urithi usioharibika wala kuchafuka wala kufifia mliowekewa mbinguni nguvu ya Mungu ina inawahifadhi kwa sababu ya imani yenu hata mpate wokofu ulio tayari kufu, kufunuliwa wakati wa mwisho hapo mtashangilia ijapo sasa imewapasa kuhuzunika kwa kitambo kidogo katika majaribio kadha wa kadha wakati wa kufunuliwa Yesu Kristu imani yenu iliyojaribiwa kama dhahabu iliyosafishwa kwa moto ionekane ni bora zaidi kuliko dhahabu hafifu mpate sifa na utukufu na heshima mwampenda Kristu ijapokuwa hamjamona bado na bila kumona sasa mnasandiki mtamshangilia kwa furaha tukufu isiyosemekana yani mtakapokuwa mmefikia upeo wa imani yenu ndio wokofu wa roho zenu neno la Bwana shangilio la injili umeniona Tomaso umesandiki asema Bwana wenye heri wale wasioona na wakasandiki nanyi somo la injili takatifu lilivyoandikwa na Yohane tukufu kwako jioni ya siku ile ya kwanza ya juma alikuja Yesu akasimama katikati ingawa milango ya chumba walimokaa wafuasi ilikuwa imefungwa kwa kuogopa wayahudi akawaambia amani iwe nanyi baada ya maneno hayo akawaonyesha mikono yake na ubavu wake wafuasi wakafurahi walipomuona bwana yesu akawaambia mara ya pili amani iwe nanyi kama baba alivyonituma mimi nami na watuma ninyi baada ya maneno hayo akawapulizia akawaambia pokeeni roho mtakatifu wote mtakaoondolea dhambi wameondolewa wote mtakao fungia dhambi wamefungiwa lakini Tomaso aitoe pacha mmoja wa wale kumi na wawili hakuwako pamoja nao alipokuja Yesu basi wafuasi wengine wakamwambia tumemuona Bwana ye lakini akawajibu nisipoona matundu ya misumari mikononi mwake na kutia kidole changu sehemu za misumari na kutia mkono wangu katika ubavu wake sisadiki hata kidogo baada ya siku nane wafuasi wake walikuwamo tena chumbani na Tomaso pamoja nao akaja Yesu ingawa milango ilikuwa imefungwa akasimama kati yao akasema amani iwe nanyi kisha akamwambia Tomaso 
kupitia kidole chako humu tazama mikono yangu leta mkono wako na kutia katika ubavu wangu na usikose imani bali uwe anayeamini Tomaso akajibu akamwambia Bwana wangu na Mungu wangu Yesu akamwambia kwa kuwa umeniona umesadiki wenye heri wale wasioona na wakasadiki sasa Yesu alifanya ishara nyingine nyingi mbele ya wafuasi wake zisizoandikwa katika kitabu hiki lakini hizi zimeandikwa mpate kusadiki ya kuwa Yesu ni masia mwana wa Mungu tena kwa kusadiki mpate kuwa na uzima kwa jina lake injili ya bwana Mtashangilia kwa furaha tukufu isiyosemekana yani wakati mtakapokuwa mmefika upeo wa imani yenu ndio wokovu wa roho zenu mtakao upokea Tumsifu Yesu Kristu Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Dominika ya pili ya Pasaka vile vile katika siku hii ya leo tunaadhimisha siku kuu ya huruma ya Mungu the divine mercy of god na ni vyema kujua ya kwamba yote ni kwa huruma na neema ya Mungu siku hii ya leo tunapojaribu kufikiria kwa kidani sana kuhusu huruma ya Mungu tunakumbuka ya kwamba mtakatifu papa Yohane wa pili aliweza kupeana maagizo ni vyema tu tunasherekea huruma ya Mungu Dominika ya pili baada ya Pasaka na ni kwa sababu gani ni kwa sababu ya mashahidi wale ambao wametoa ushuhuda wao ya kwamba wameuona mkono wa Bwana na neema na huruma ya Mungu katika maisha yao mmoja wao akiwa sister Faustina Mungu ni mwema na ni mtu ambaye ni mtakatifu ambaye hata sisi tunamfahamu kwa kuwa tunaweza sema ya kwamba ni mtakatifu wa kalne zetu tunamjua vyema Leo hii katika masomo yetu na tunapoendelea kujiuliza mazwali jinsi tutakavyoweza kupokea e, huruma na neema ya Mwenyezi Mungu kuna jambo la muhimu sana ni lazima tuweze kulipokea na tuweze kuliweka ndani yetu ili tuweze kutengeneza nafasi katika roho zetu mahali ambapo neema na huruma ya Mungu itapata makao Mungu ni mwema Na katika masomo yetu ya leo kitu cha maana sana au zawadi muhimu zaidi ambayo tunataka tujiuliza maswali chache juu yake ni kuhusu imani yetu Our faith Tunayo imani ya kutosha kumwamini Kristu haswa Kristu mfufuka ambaye tulimkiri Jumapili iliyopita na bado tunaendelea kukiri ya kwamba amefufuka hayuko kaburini tena. Je, imani yako imekufikisha hapo? Na hii imani inapimwa kwa jia gani au ni kifaa kipi ambacho tutakachotumia e, tuweze kupima imani ya mtu? Ukiangalia mwenzako naomba umweze kumwangalia lakini usimwambie chochote. Mwangalie tafadhali naomba. Hebu muangalie hivi unaona ya kwamba imani yake kama unaweza ipima. Kwa ukweli hauwezi ukaipima. Haiwezi ikapimika. Ni kwa nini? Wakati mwingi tunafikiria ya kwamba imani 
ambayo huwa tunaongea juu yake kila wakati ni kama hali mtu anapoamka asubuhi baada ya kuoga unaenda karibu na kio unachukua vima vyako vya kujirembesha na kina kifaa kina kazi yake na baada ya yote unasema kweli nimerembeka ya kutosha sasa wacha nie niende na uko na imani ya kwamba wale wote ambao watakao kuona mtakao pitana nao watasema ya kweli kwamba huyu ni mle ni mrembo ni nini imekufanya urembeke na imani yetu tutakapoiangalia kwa mtazamo huo kwa hakika tutapotea na hii imani ambayo tutakayoongea juu yake siku ya leo imani ambayo itakao tujalia ili tuweze kupokea neema na huruma ya Mwenyezi Mungu ni imani tunayopewa mwelekeo na wanafunzi wafuasi wa Kristu wale ambao walipata ujube Jumapili iliyopita kutoka kwa Maria Magdalena na Maria Mwenza ya kwamba tulikuwa pale kabulini na hayupo tena na tumeambiwa na malaika amefanya nini amefufuka waliamini ama hawakuamini waliangalia mtazamo hawa akina mama ili waweze kupima imani yao ya Kristu mfufuka ama ilitoka ndani ya nyoyo zao na wiki ambayo limepita tumeweza kupata ujumbe katika masomo yetu ya kwamba Kristo ameweza kudhihirisha ufufuko wake kwa hawa wafuasi wake kwa jia kadha wa kadha. Na hata baada ya hayo yote bado kuna watu miongoni mwao hawajaamini ya kwamba Kristo amefufuka. Na kwa hivyo ningetaka tu tujiulize tu maswali mawili. Na swali la kwanza umuhimu wa imani maishani mwetu ni nini? The importance of faith in our lives. Swali la pili. Ni madhara gani ambayo yanatupata sisi kwa kutoamini kwetu? What are the repercussions of lack of faith in our lives? Kwa kifupi. Umuhimu wa imani ningetaka tu kuelezea kwa namna mbili tu muhimu. Na hivi vipaji viwili ambavyo tunapokea kwa Mungu mmoja wapo ikiwa ni huruma yake tunayosherekea na neema yake ambayo zinaabatana and we normally say is, where there is mercy of God there is grace of God Huruma na neema ya Mungu zinaabatana maishani mwa Mkristo Maishani mwa yeye anayemwamini Tutapima na nini neema ya Mungu? Tutapima na nini? Ni kifaa kipi ambacho tutatumia tujue ya kwamba sasa huyu Mkristo amepokea neema, amepokea huruma. Na kama tutategemea miili yetu kupima hayo basi tutakuwa tumekosa yote. Tutakuwa tumepata sufuri kwa kumi. Zero over ten na wakati imani yetu imeweza kukita mizizi tunamkaribisha Mungu katika maisha yetu neema yake inapotuingia sisi kama mtakatifu Paulo anavyosema neema ya Mungu inanitosha sina lingine yeye ndiye wa kutegemewa na wakati tunapopokea huruma ya Mwenyezi Mungu ambayo inabatana na neema zake Huruma ya Mwenyezi Mungu ndani yetu inatufanya tuwe viumbe vipya. Inatujalia ili tuweze kupata hekima ya kufanya muamuzi. Tunafanya uamuzi ambao unatuelekeza, unatupeleka karibu na Mungu. That we make decisions, the decisions that will always take us close to God, but not far away from him. Na imani isipokuwa imekomaa ndani yetu ni hatari sana. Ni kama mwenye tu alisema na akasema elimu kidogo inakuwa hatari sana kwa mtu. That literal wisdom is very dangerous. It's very dangerous. Na imani yetu ndio itakao tufanya sasa tukiwa viumbe vipya tuweze kukaribisha huo hekima 
utulivu unyenyekevu wa moyo na hali yote ambayo Mkristo anastahili kuwa nayo ili uweze kudhihirisha Ukristo uhusiano wako na Kristo mfufuka Tutapitia mengi lakini tunaulizwa na tunaombwa tuweze kuvumilia kwa sababu haya tunayapitia tu ni kwa muda tu lakini tuchunge imani yetu Mwandishi mmoja akauliza je katika maisha ya mwanadamu ni mwili wake au ni roho yake inahitaji huruma ya Mungu Is it your body or your soul that is in need of mercy of God Macho yako inahitaji huruma Miguu yako inahitaji huruma yoyote Mdomo wako unahitaji kuhurumiwa Baraza it is your soul ni moyo wako ambao unahitaji huruma kwa sababu moyo utakao kuwa katika hali jema and we normally say is that the soul animates body kwa sababu moyo ndio unapatia mwili uhai moyo wako ukiwa na afya ya kiroho ukiwa na afya jema basi hata mwili wako utakuwa na afya Mungu ni mwema na kwa hivyo tuweze kuchunga roho zetu zipokee neema ya Mungu tunayo iongelelea siku ya leo Vile vile inaelezwa ya kwamba ukisoma katika maadishi ya, e, ya mtakatifu Faustina kuna kipengele ambapo wanasema ya kwamba wale ambao hawawezi wakaingilia kwenye mrango wa huruma za Mungu tayari wameingia kwenye mrango wa hukumu That those can never get into the door of mercy they have already gotten into the door of judgment na kwa hivyo usipo hurumiwa na Mungu utayari kuhukumiwa madhara ya kutoamini ni gani what are the repercussions of lack of faith in our lives na moja wapo imehidhihirika katika masomo yetu ya leo haswa kwenye somo la injili takatifu wale ambao hawana imani haswa kwa Kristo mfufuka hawana utulivu wanakaa wakihangaika wanatoka sehemu moja wakielekea sehemu nyingine hawajui wanalohitaji katika maisha yao <coughs> wanapofanya uamuzi hawana ule utulivu wa moyo alhamisi ikuu iliyopita kuna umu e, mwanafunzi mmoja wa Yesu Kristo ambaye ndani yake hakuwa na utulivu. Hagengojea mpaka mwisho. Na diposa ilifika wakati hata akatoka hata kabla hawajamaliza chakula chao cha mwisho. Si mnamjua Yuda. Hakukuwa na utulivu. Na utulivu <coughs> Sorry. Utulivu unakupeleka ili uweze kujua yale unayostahili kufanya au kuyatekeleza katika maisha yako. Na utulivu unakuwezesha ili uweze kufuata maagizo iliyopeanwa usijipata katika e, tabani. Lakini kwa kutofuata tuliona yale ambayo yalimpata. Leo hii tumepatana na Tomaso na hata baada ya Kristu kutumana na akasema endeni mwambie dugu zangu wapande mle Jerusalemu hapo ndipo tutakapopatana na wao na wae watulivu wanigojee huko bado Tomasu hana ule utulivu ndani yake alikuwa ameenda wapi hao wengine wakimgojea Kristu mfufuka alikuwa wapi je tunayo huu utulivu katika familia zetu ni mara ngapi tunajipata Hatutulii katika familia zetu tunajipata tumeenda tumehangaika kuingine tunapata tumetapaka mawazo yetu yametapaka kila mahali pasipo utulivu basi kuna mengi ambayo utayakosa ukosefu wa imani katika maisha yetu unatuondolea ile neema ambayo tuliweza kupewa na Mungu hapo awali wakati tulipokuwa tunaumbwa na wakati neema inapotuondokea basi tunakuanga kama mikebe ambayo haina mafuta 
na inasemekana ya kwamba empty debes they mix a lot of noise unajipata katika sana lakini si kuomba unapiga makelele Mungu ni mwema u katika mkutano lakini kuliko usikilize yako ni <coughs> makelele ukosefu wa imani unatupeleka na hii ni ya tatu na tunajipata tuna tunakosa matumaini katika maisha Tomaso walikuwa wametupa matumaini yake yalikuwa yamemtoka huyu Kristo tuliyekuwa tunamfuata ambaye wanasema ya kwamba amefufuka na maneno yake ni vyema yaweze kunukuliwa vizuri ati mnasema amefufuka kwangu mimi siwezi yamini mpaka ni muone na tuna watu wa aina hiyo katika maisha yetu mpaka waone na waguze ndio waamini tuna wengi miongoni mwetu ambao tumeingia katika dhambi na tunaambiwa ya kwamba huruma ya Mwenyezi Mungu hii jiani inakuja kutuokoa lakini tunasema bado muda bado muda utagojea mpaka lini na kwa hivyo ni vyema tuweze kuangalia imani yetu na tuweze kuamini Kristu huyu mfufuka hata kama hatujamuona. Heri yao ambao wanaamini hata kama hawajashuhudia. Na wanasadiki. Kwa sababu wakiweka matumaini yao juu ya Mwenyezi Mungu hawataaibika. Ukosefu wa imani bado unatuaibisha katika maisha yetu. <coughs> Katika eh, tamasha za kitaifa kuna hawa wanajeshi ambao huwa eh, wengine wanapiga doria wengine wako na mipangilio yao ya kuburudisha eh, mtukufu raisi. Na ningetaka tu ujiulize swali kama eh, ushawahi eh, shuhudia tamasha za aina hiyo. Kuna huyu eh, commanding officer Mungu ni mwema huyu askari mwenye huwa anatoa command kwa hawa uh, eh, wanajeshi ambao eh, wanapiga eh, drill hapo kwa uwaja na kuna maneno anatoanga unasikia tu amesema anafika mahali anasema wo wo na akisema hayo hata we mwenyewe hujasikia vyenye amesema lakini mwenye ametolewa sauti yenyewe anaamini vyenye amesikia ndivyo atakavyofanya na hakuna hata mmoja wao huwa anakosa wanajiamini wao wenyewe wanaamini chenye wanafanya sisi tukiwa katika drill hii tuko hapa sasa katika tamasha ya Kristo mfufuka ni wangapi ambao wanauliza maswali mimi sijasikia hiyo mimi sijasikia vyenye amesema mimi nagoja nione vyenye atafanya sinsu kwa fuata bila kuuliza maswali Amini ya kwamba Kristo yu maishani mwako na neema yake kwetu haina kipimo Lakini ni kwa wale ambao watamwendea wale ambao watakuwa na utulivu wa kimgoja au ndio watakao sherekea Mwisho Imani katika maisha yetu inatusaidia ili baada ya kupokea hekima ambayo hutoka kwa Mungu tunakuwa ambao watu wako na utulivu na baada ya yote tunaweza kumuiga yeye aliyetuokoa kwa matendo kwa maneno na kwa mienendo Katika somo letu la kwanza wanafunzi wa, e, wa Kristo mfufuka baada ya Kristo kuwapata alivyowapata katika somo letu la injiri na kuambia pokeeni amani msiwe na uoga tena nipo miongoni mwenu na nitaandamana na nyinyi mpaka mwisho pokeeni kipaji cha roho mtakatifu na huyu roho mtakatifu ndiye atakaye wajalia ili muweze kuishi maisha ya ushirikiano lakini sio maisha ya kutengana tunajipata tunatengana sana na kinato tufanya tutengane ni kitu ambacho hakina umuhimu wowote. You can imagine watu wakiwa familia wanatengana juu ya remote. God is good. Yes, you hate each other because of the remote. Na hata ukiwa jiani unaharakisha sana. 
mwenye atafika bere dia anachukua anga remote na wenye wako na gari na amepatana ame na jamu ataacha gari ili akibirie remote but hii neema na rehema ambayo tumejaliwa itatufanya na itatuwezesha tuishi katika maisha ya kushirikiana na kusaidiana kama mitume walivyofanya katika somo letu la kwanza wamempokea Kristo mfufuka na kipaji cha roho mtakatifu walikuwa wanaishi katika nyumba moja huku wakisali pamoja wakimega mkate pamoja na kusaidiana kuligana na mahitaji ya kila mmoja na kwa sababu sisi ndio mitume wa karne hii tulioko sasa hivi je tunaishi pamoja tunamega mkate pamoja tunagawana kulingana na mahitaji ya kila mmoja lakini mambo yamebadilika angalia viongozi wetu sasa imefika wakati ni mtu avute kwa kwake na tusiwaraumu sana kwanza tujiraumu sisi wenyewe imani yetu iko wapi imefika wapi and one of the writer says one of the wisest person in this world was educated by another person god is good mwenye unafikiria ni mwerevu sana katika ulimwengu huu alielimishwa na mtu mwingine and sometimes we are the teachers of our leaders that little corruption whatever you may call it ukianzia hapo ulipo usitarajie hata mwenye yako juu akuwe mwaminifu na uaminifu utakapokosa utengano katika familia utengano katika e, e, nchi utengano katika e, jamii ni jambo ambalo litakaro onekana wazi nayo matunda ya kutoaminika inaonekana mauaji matusi ya kila siku hakuna kumjali mwenzako lakini neema ya Mungu inatutosha neema yake ikae juu yetu ili tutakapo gundua ya kwamba alikufa na akavuvuka kwa ajili yetu sisi basi hatutakuwa na buu hatutakuwa na lingine bali ni kumfuata tumsikilize tumuombe bwana kwa rehema na huruma yako tuongoze mpaka tutakapofikia ufalme wa milele tumsifu Yesu Kristo Na sasa naomba tusimame ili tuweze kukiri imani yetu. Na sadiki kwa Mungu mmoja, Baba Mwenyezi, Muumba wa Bingu na Dunia, na vitu vyote vinavyoonekana na visivyoonekana. Na sadiki kwa Bwana mmoja, Yesu Kristu, Mwana wa pekee wa Mungu, aliyezaliwa kwa Baba tangu milele yote. Mungu aliyetoka kwa Mungu mwanga kwa mwanga Mungu kweli kwa Mungu kweli aliyezaliwa bila kuumbwa mwenye umungu mmoja na Baba ambaye vitu vyote vimeumbwa naye alishuka toka mbinguni kwa ajili yetu sisi wanadamu na kwa ajili ya wokovu wetu akapata mwili kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu kwake yeye Bikra Maria akawa mwanadamu akasurubiwa kwa ajili yetu sisi kwa mamlaka ya Ponsi wa Pirati akateswa akafa na akazikwa siku ya tatu akafufuka kadri ya maandiko ameketi kwa kwa baba kwa hukumu wazima na wafu na ufalme wake hautakuwa na mwisho na sadiki kwa roho mtakatifu bwana mleta uzima asokae kwa baba na mwana anayeabudiwa na kutukuzwa pamoja na baba na mwana aliyenena kwa binyoa vya manabii na sadiki kwa kanisa moja takatifu katoliki la mitume na ungama ubatizo mmoja kwa maondoleo ya dhambi na gojea na ufufu kwa wafu na uzima wa milele ijayo amina baada ya matukio ya Ijumaa kuu wafuasi walipoteza imani yote lakini imani yao halifu 
iliamshwa tena na Yesu mfufuka aliyewatokea mara kwa mara e Yesu mfufuka imani yetu ni dhaifu sana tuamshie imani yetu kama ulivyoamsha imani ya mitume wako e Bwana Bwana tutakuomba Mtume Tomaso hakutaka kuamini bila kuonyeshwa alama za makovu yako. Tujalie kuonja nguvu yako katika maisha yetu ili kuimarisha imani yetu. E Bwana. Tunajua kwamba hatuwezi kukuamini bila kusaidiwa na neema yako. Tutangulizie neema yako na kuimarisha imani na upendo wetu. E Bwana. Dalili chache zinazotosha kwa msha imani yetu. Tujalie kuona dalili chache za enzi yako katika maisha yetu ili kutuimarisha kuwa mitume wako. E Bwana. Ulisema wenye heri wasioona na kusadiki. Uimarisha imani yetu ili kutuwezesha kukuamini kwa moyo wote. E Bwana. Salamu Maria umejaa neema bwana yunawe umebarikiwa kuliko wanawake wote na Yesu zao watumwa wako wamebarikiwa Maria mtakatifu mama wa Mungu tuombee sisi wakosefu sasa e Mungu baba sisi binadamu tuna shida zetu katika kuamini bila kuona kwa macho yetu ya kibinadamu Utuangaze macho ya mioyo yetu ili tuone kwa imani yale yasiyoonekana bado kwa macho yetu. Tunakuomba kwa ajili ya mwanao Yesu Kristu anayeishi na kutawala pamoja naye katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu, Mungu daima na milele.
ili sadaka yangu yenu e bwana tunakuomba uvipokee vipaji wanavyokutolewa watu wako pamoja na wanao waliozaliwa upya ili wakiisha kufanya kufanywa upya kwa kuliungama eh, jina lako na kwa ubatizo wapate kufikia heli ya milele kwa jina Kristu Bwana wetu. Bwana awe nanyi. Inweni mioyo. Tumshukuru Bwana Mungu wetu. Kweli ni vyema na haki tendo la kufana la kuleta uokovu. E Bwana lakini sasa siku hii ya kutangaza utukufu wako kwa kuwa Kristo pasaka yetu ametolewa sadaka yeye ndiye mwana kondoa wa kweli aliyeondoa adhabu za ulimwengu yeye ndiye aliyeangamiza mauti yetu kwa kufa kwake na alitengeneza upya uzima kwa kufufuka kwake kwa sababu hiyo katika upeo wa furaha ya kipasaka ulimwengu mzima unashangilia lakini pia Wanaimba utenzi wa utukufu wako wakisema bila mwisho. kweli umtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilichoumbwa nawe kinakusifu kwa haki maana kwa jia ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristu na kwa uwezo tedaji wa roho mtakatifu unavitia uzima vitu vyote na kuvitakatifuza wala huati kukusanya watu kwako ili toka maawiwa ya jua hata mashoo yake dhabihu safi itolewe kwa jina lako basi e bwana tunakusihi kwa unyenyekevu vipaji hivi ambavyo tumekutolea ili uvitakaze upende kuvitakatifuza kwa roho huyo huyo ili viwe mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristu aliyetuamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya maana yeye mwenyewe usiku ule alipotolewa alitoa mkate na akikushukuru aliubariki akaumega akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Toaeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu. Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akitoa kikombe na kukushukuru alikibariki na akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Toaeni mnywe nyote hiki licho kikobe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya na ramilele 
itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu tese ya manawe yaletayo uovu pamoja na ufufuko wake wa ajabu na kupaa kwake mbinguni na tunapoutazamia ujio wake wa pili tunakutolea kwa shukran sadaka hii iliyo hai na takatifu tunakuomba uiangalie matoleo ya kanisa lako na kwa kumtambua yeye aliye kafala ambaye ulitaka kutulizwa kwa sadaka ya kifo chake utujalie sisi tunaotiwa nguvu kwa mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujazwa roho wake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili mmoja na roho mmoja katika Kristo. Yeye tufanye sisi tuwe kwako sadaka timilifu la milele ili tuweze kupata ulithi pamoja na wateule wako. Kwanza kabisa pamoja na Bikra Maria mwenye heri, mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mume wake huyo Bikra na, ma, na mitume wako wenye heri na mashahidi wako watakatifu na watakatifu wote ambao tunategemea kupata daima msaada wa maombezi yao mbele zako na kuomba e bwana huyu aliye kafala ya upatanisho wetu alete amani na wokofu duniani kote upende kulimarisha katika imani na mapendo kanisa lako linalo safili hapa duniani pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco askofu wetu Filipo Anyolo na Daudi Kamau msaidizi wake pamoja na maaskofu wote wa kilelo wote na watu wote unaowafanya kuwa taifa lako usikilize kwa wema sala za jamaa hii ulioita hapa mbele yako e baba ulie mtakatifu kwa huruma yako uwakusanye kwako wanao wote walio tawanyika popote duniani uwapokee kwa wema katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu na wote walioaga dunia wakiwa wanakupendeza nasi tunatumaini kufika katika ufalme huo ili pamoja tusibishwe milele na utukufu wako kwa jia Kristu bwana wetu ambaye kwa jia yake unajalia ulimwengu mema yote Wajia yake pamoja na ye na ndani yake Wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa roho mtakatifu Unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele kwa kulitia gizo la mwokozi wetu kufuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupe mkate wetu wa kila siku utusamehe makosa yetu 
kama tunavyo samehe ya nasisi walio tukosea usitutie katika tusawishi e bwana tunakuomba utuokoe katika maovu yote utujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuokolewe daima na dhambi wala tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heri na ujio wa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo Amen wako na nguvu E Bwana Yesu Kristo uliyewaambia mitume wako amani na waachieni amani yangu na wapa usizame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako na upende kuliijalia amani na umoja kama alivyo mapenzi yako unayeishi na kutawala milele na milele amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi amani Tazameni mwana kondoo wa Mungu. Tazameni anayeondoa dhambi za ulimwengu, heri yao walioalikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo. E Bwana, sistahili wingie kwangu, lakini isi maneno tu na roho yangu itakuwa
na kutia katika ubavu wangu na usikose imani bali uwe muamini haleluya tuombe E Mungu mwenyezi tunakuomba utujalie ili sakramenti ya kipasaka hiyo ipokea kazi daima katika roho zetu kwa jina Kristo Bwana wetu Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati. Tusikize matangazo. Leo Padri Peter Joroge amejiunga nasi kwa misa ya shukrani baada ya upadilisho wake mwezi wa Februari mwaka huu. Na matangazo yakiendelea ninawaomba tuitarishe kuna bahasha iko karibu na sisi. Pia kuna nambari ambayo nataka tuchukue saa hizi ni 0716 8267 Nitarudia hiyo 0716 628267 Nitawakumbusha baada ya matangazo lakini tuanze kuitarisha Bahasha ya pasaka za pasaka ziko kwenye pigeon boxes Tafadhali chukua na uirudishe pamoja na matoleo yako ya pasaka Ubatizo wa watoto wadogo wachanga ufanyika kila Jumamosi mwisho wa mwezi ukitanguliwa na mafundisho kwa wazazi na wasimamizi. Misa ya watoto hufanyika Jumapili tatu za kwanza ya mwezi saa tatu na nusu asubuhi kwenye ukumbi mkuu. Jumapili ya ine ya kila mwezi watoto hujiunga nasi hapa kanisani kwenye misa. Kitubio hufanyika kila siku hata Jumapili kwenye chumba cha kitambo cha kuabudu masani kama ifuatavyo siku za wiki kuanzia saa kumi jioni jumamosi ni saa nne asubuhi na saa kumi jioni jumapili ni saa moja asubuhi hadi saa saba mchana siku ya ijumaa ni siku yetu ya maungamo na tunayo kitubio siku mzima jumapili jao watoto wetu wote wa miaka kumi na nne hadi kumi na nane tunaoita MYM watakuwa kwa mkutano na padri aliyesimamia vijana saa tatu asubuhi jumba la Cardinal Otunga Annex wazazi tafadhali mtusaidie kufikisha ujumbe huu kwa watoto hawa tunafariji mtawa wetu Emily aliyefanya kazi hapa kwetu kufuatia kifo cha mjomba wake Mkutano wa kupanga mazishi ufanyika kila siku ya wiki kwenye ukumbi wa St. Mother Teresa Hall, jumba la Cardinal Otunga Annex, orofa ya saba. Raa ya milele umpe e bwana na mwanga wa milele umwangazie. Apumzike kwa amani. Mazishi ni Ijumaa huko Chogoria Meru tarehe na moja mwezi wa ine. Jana PMC wali walikuwa kwa festivals na tunawashangilia na tunawapongeza kwa kuwa walikuwa namba ya walichukua na, nafasi ya pili na kwa hivyo wataendelea katika ile tunaita Akidaus so they were second position i think a clap for them they did a great job Kuna tangazo moja la doa William Ayer mwanae John Ayer na Helen Ayer anaishi Nairobi angependa kufunga ndoa takatifu na Marcelina Audrey Aviambo mbindie Edward Onyango na Edwina Acheng anaishi Nairobi yote anaye anao kizuizi kwa ndoa hii anaombwa kumjulisha baba paroko ama padri yote anayefanya kazi kwenye parokia hii So finally just to thank uh, Reverend uh, Peter Joroge for being with us today and for reminding us about I've never thought of divine mercy in that way so it's either mercy or judgment and I think that choice 
sounds very clear ninge kuomba ni ukuje karibu tulio tukupongeze tukusalimie muda unayoyoma lakini saa hizi ningetaka pia kushukuru uh, St Gregory the Great choir ambao wametuongoza St Bakita ambao wamekuwa wa wana animate leo Capuchin TV na wote ambao mnatusaidia tunawashangilia na tunawapongeza so reverend father please if you can come to the front and this is the time i ask all of us please let's get up and uh, congratulate and uh, shake the hand of our newly ordained priest and you'll get a souvenir and a blessing who doesn't want a blessing this time so please get up and choir you can lead us in a song na pmc si kama pmc kama wako please get an envelope come two lines let's say well done father and may god continue blessing you and guiding you twarakisha jameni don't think twice it's a moment of uh, naomba tu arakisha ndio tumalize misa there's an envelope let's do the right thing Thank you, thank you. Number ni ile 0716. Kwa ya pole pole tu kidogo ni. Oko imisi. Number ni 0716. 62. 82. 67. 0716. Two, six, I will not get tired. The number is zero seven one six
God is good and all the time ni kwa neema na huruma ya Mungu tumeweza kufika mahali tumefika e, bila shaka leo hii ni mweza kupewa nafasi ili nitoe au niadhimishe misa takatifu kwa ibada ya shukran kwa ubadilisho wangu ambao niliweza kuupata nikiwa mahali hapa hapa na kwa hivyo ningetoa eh, shukrani zangu kwake Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kuwa ni kwa neema na huruma yake. Na tunamtumailia ya kwamba anatupeleka habari na mengi ambayo ametuandalia na ili tuweze kuyapokea yote ni vyema tuweze kuangalia imani yetu na iweze kukita mizizi ndani yake. Pili ningetaka kutoa shukrani zangu kwa mapadri wote katika eh, Holy Family Maina Basilica kwa malezi yenu mbora ambayo niliweza kupokea kwenu wakati tuliokuwa tunaishi pamoja. Nashukuru Mungu kwa kuwa e, e, busara ambayo niliweza kupata kutoka kwenu na maneno ambayo mliweza kunielekeza nayo sina taasisi yoyote ya kwamba nilisaidika na nilifaidika e, kwa kiasi kikubwa sana na Mungu awabariki na mzidi kuhudumu katika shamba lake. Wakristo wapenzi, kwangu mimi nawaambia shukran kwa sababu wakati tulipokuwa nanyi hapa takriban mwaka mmoja tuliishi kama dugu na dada, tulifanya kazi yetu vizuri, mlinipa muda wenu masikio yenu na tukahudumu vizuri na diuposa Mungu akatubariki. Kwangu mimi nasema Mungu awabariki sana. Abaliki abaliki familia zenu, abaliki watoto wenu, abaliki kazi zenu na juu ya yote, aweze kuwalida na wajaria afya ya mwili na roho siku zote mnapoendelea kumtumainia na mfanye awe tumaini lenu ili kwa yote huruma yake ipate mahali ya kukaa maishani mwetu. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Kwa heshima tusimame kwa baraka ya mwisho. Wana wenanyi Mungu mwenyezi awabariki baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu
Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki I would like to appreciate the Capuchin TV we are very very grateful and we always encourage people of goodwill our Christians to continue supporting the Capuchin TV the only Catholic TV the only one in Kenya imagine the only one so let us support them they cover most of our masses here at the basilica so as individuals as groups let us support uh, Capuchin TV because they continue uh, reaching out reaching out to the people of God wherever they are to be more and more uh, nourished uh, spiritually so Captain TV thank you may God bless your ministry Twendele kufanya kazi baby number 5106678 account name Caps TV My dear brothers and sisters, as well as all people of goodwill, peace be with you all. My name is Father Arnold Shirima, the superior of the Capuchin brothers in Kenya. I come to you all on behalf of Capuchin brothers, requesting for your financial support towards the construction of phase two of our headquarters residential home in Westlands, Rafter Road, Nairobi. The total cost of this project is 25 million. We shall have fundraising on the 10th of June, 2023, at St. Jude Chapel, Rafter Road, Westlands, in Nairobi. The Holy Mass begins at 11.30 a.m., followed by the fundraising. You can send your contribution through M-Pesa pay bill number 7062124. Accounts name, put your name. Thank you for your generous contribution. May Almighty God bless you all and your families. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wasafiri na walio manyumbani, walio kazini na walio likizoni, walio kifungoni na walio hospitalini, walio mjini na walio vijijini, baada ya ibada au badala ya kazi, heri njema na baraka tele za sikukuu. Sikukuu ni sikukuu. Ule omena au ingho, ule mbuzi au mbuzi ulaya, ule ngombe au swara, ule sungura au bata, sikukuu ni sikukuu tu. Ule ugali kwa sukuma au chapo kwa ndengu, ule matoke au maragwe, ule mukimo au mudhokoi, ule mchelenjeri, vyazi karai au biryani special. Sikukuu ni sikukuu. 
Popote ulipo, chochote ulacho, Kapuchin TV inakutakia wewe na wapendo wako. Heri njema na baraka za pasaka. Kristu mfufuka na awe mwanga katika maisha yako. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV. Kitambulisho chako Katoliki. Heri na baraka za pasaka kwako mpenda mtazamaji wa runinga captain Jumapili tarehe telatini mwezi Aprili mwaka huu kwa mali kwa baba paroko Padre Fostili Tanda runinga captain tutaungana na umini wa parokia mtakatifu Yosefu mfanyikazi eno la Lamudak Jimbo la Nakuru Itakuwa ni adhimisho la miaka arobaini tangu parokia hiyo kuanzishwa rasmi mwaka elfu moja kenda mia temanini na tatu. Ibada ya misa takatifu itaanza saini asubuhi ikiongozwa na mwashamu David Kamao askofu msimamizi wa kitume wa Jimbo la Nakuru. Sherehe hiyo itafanyika kwenye uwanja wa parokia hiyo. Kumbuka haya yote yatakufikia kokote utakapo kuwa kupitia Runinga Captain pamoja na mtandao wetu wa kijamii. Runinga Captain inawapongeza baba paroko pamoja na umini wa parokia mtakatifu Yosefu mfanyikazi eno la Lamudak Jimbo la Nakuru kwa mafanikio hayo. Endelea kutazama runinga captain kitambulisho chako katoliki Wellness are the most important things in your life. It impacts on how everything else happens and is received by you. Most of the times do we give it much attention as we should? That's why Capuchin TV is bringing you this health program every Friday starting from 9 a.m. to help you embark on the journey to wellness and living a healthy life. It is important to point out that mental health is more about wellness than sickness Self-care is not selfish. Some of the factors that can make a big difference in health wellness are diet, enough rest, exercise, posture, and avoiding use of alcohol. Enjoy this conversation with me, Maureen Kimani, every Friday from 9 a.m. on our Health Corner show here at Capuchin TV. Your health is your wealth.
Welcome to Tangaza University College, a multicultural community of holistic formation rooted in gospel values. Our academic programs include postgraduate, undergraduate degrees, diplomas and certificate courses. At Tangaza University College, we pride ourselves as the leading college in inclusivity with all our learning facilities attuned to accommodate students with special needs. Delight in an ambient environment, professional lecturers and world-class learning facilities including a spacious, well-equipped library, a research center, science laboratories and a multimedia studio. Our full-time and part-time intakes are open in January, May and August every year. We also offer holiday-based programs in April, August and December. For more information about our courses and enrollment procedure, visit us along Langata South Road in Karen, Nairobi, or visit our website at www.tangaza.ac.ke. For remote inquiries, send an email to inquiries at tangaza.ac.ke or call us on 0722-204-724. Or zero seven three three six eight five zero five nine. Enroll now for our competitive PhD, Masters, Bachelors, Diplomas, and Certificate courses. Tangaza University College, teaching minds, touching hearts, and transforming lives. Juma tatu hii Kwenye makala ya paroko na parokia leo tunaangazia awamu ya pili ya parokia msalaba mtakatifu au kipenda Holy Cross kwenye eneo la Chani katika jimbo kuu la Mombasa jimbo linaloongozwa na mwaheshimu askofu mkuu Martin Kivuva kwa maelezo zaidi ungana nasi Juma tatu hii tarehe 17 saa moja na nusu jioni na marudio yake Jumaine saini asubuhi ungana naye Arbe Bonaya katika makala ya paroko na parokia kila Jumatatu saa unusu usiku. Ni hapa tu kwenye runinga ya Captain kituo nambari moja cha imani na maadili ya Kikristo. This is who we are. We are shepherds of God's flock, we are pastors, servants of God's people, we are KCCB. Kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu. Amani iwe nanyi. Tujue la katika kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torati We are fishers of men priests in the order of Melchizedek Somo katika injili ilivyoandikwa na Marko
Waeni mle wote huu ndio mwili wangu tutakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu. Akushikana ina songa. Awabariki Mungu Mwenyezi. Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. We are brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ. We are consecrated. We are religious men and women. We are CMA. We are men of action. We are commissioned. We are CWA. We are women of faith. We are soprano and alto. We are tenor and bass. We are voices of praise and worship. We are youth for Christ. House 47, Advent Monica's product. We are YCA. We are MYM. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. We are PMC. We are liturgical dancers and artists. We are baptized. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We are confirmed. We are married. We are married. Encounter. Receive the joy of your glory, giving thanks to God, who has called you into the heavenly kingdom. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you all. God is good, and all the time, being the second Sunday of Easter, Today we are also celebrating the Divine Sunday, the Divine Mercy of God Sunday. And therefore we are invited to check on our faith because it is one of the means for us to receive and to enjoy the mercy and grace of God. Let us to call our mind, to call our sins so that we can be made worthy to celebrate this Paschal mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, in my thoughts and my words, 
in my faults, in my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Vietas pri God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may all grasp and light understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, and by whose blood redeemed, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Acts of the Apostles The brethren held steadfastly to the Apostles teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of the bread and to the prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. And all who believed were together and had all things in common. And they sold their possessions and goods and distributed them to all as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes. They partook of food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, give praise to the Lord for he is good, his mercy endures forever. Give praise to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Give praise to the Lord, for he is good, his mercy endures forever. I was thrust down, thrust down and falling, but the Lord was my helper. The Lord is my strength and my soul. He was my Savior. There are shouts of joy and salvation in the tents of the just. Give praise to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. 
by the Lord has this been done. A marvel in eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Give praise to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures for Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, we have been born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and to an inheritance which is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while you may have to suffer various trials so that the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, which so perishable is tested by fire, may redound to praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Without having seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with an utterable and exalted joy. As the outcome of your faith, you obtain the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Kindly arise for gospel acclamation. Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands at his side. Then the disciples were glad 
when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I said you. And when his heart said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his heart the, sprint, the print of the nails, and the place my figure in the mark of the nails, and place my heart in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your figure here, and see my hands, and put out your hand, and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You have believed because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good at all the time. It is another time that you have come to give thanks to God and also to celebrate with Him or to celebrate together as a way of giving thanks. Today, the Mother Church invites us to celebrate the Sunday or the Divine Mercy Sunday. This is a day which was declared by Pope John Paul II and then, by this time, it was during the canonization of Sister Faustina Koaska. You know, she is the sister who is attributed to this divine mercy. And this divine mercy, for those who started the novena, it started on Good Friday. And then, today is the culmination, and this is why we are celebrating this day. And the idea behind the divine mercy was used as a way whereby Pope John Paul II wanted even to make it known to the people, and this is why he declared it to be celebrated on the second Sunday of the Easter, whereby he said that it is the greatest message whereby Christians should hear during these times, that we need mercy of God more than any other time. And actually, even for us, we know very well, we all need mercy of God. You cannot survive, you cannot live without the mercy of God. So this is actually a very important day even for us. And actually, even if you read from the diary of Sister Faustina, you hear about so many promises about the divine mercy of God, on how God expresses his mercy, on how Christ is always expressing his mercy towards us, so that whoever wishes, whoever wishes to go for them, whoever wishes to receive them, may receive and may obtain them. Remember, we are all weak. It's only by the grace and the mercy of God that you can be able to survive, that you can be able even to undertake our duties and even continue with our life. One of my favorite quotes from this diary says that Jesus expresses his will and says, whoever refuses to enter through the door of my mercy, then that person does not have an option, but that person will have to enter through the door of my justice. Meaning that if you fail to embrace the mercy of God, then you are there and you'll face now the judgment. You will face now the, the, all the, that which now is bad because you refuse to obtain the mercy of God, that which will shape you, that which will strengthen you. But the question is, 
Because the muscle of God is everywhere. The muscle of God is with us, but only what we need is faith. My dear Christians, if we don't have faith, then we'll not have even the time to contemplate and even to think about the muscle of God. Because the mercy of God can only come to us if we believe that the mercy exists. Then, remember, you cannot get that which you don't think about it, that which you don't believe in it. If you believe in the muscle of God, if you have faith in God, then we'll be able to go even for the muscle of God. Today's reading helps us to reflect more about our faith, to reflect more about how Christ is close to us and how Christ wishes us even to unite and wishes us even to be strong enough so that we may be able to obtain his mercy. And I would like us to reflect with you through the, our readings today with the three points about how we should strengthen and how we should ask Christ even to be with us and also help to strengthen our faith. And the first point is that in the time of doubt, and in the time whereby we find ourselves not believing in Jesus Christ, then we should not go astray, we should not look on the other side, but we should rely on Christ. And then he will be able to strengthen our faith and also to give us what we have lost. And that when we feel that you are doubting, when you feel that your faith you are not contented or you are not convinced about it. Don't go astray. Don't look for another way. Only focus on Christ because Christ will help you to strengthen your faith and also even to go for that which you have lost. My dear Christian, from our gospel today, we encounter the disciples. Today we have been told that the disciples are locking themselves inside the room. They are even shutting down their doors because they are fearing Jews. They are not fearing Christ, but they are fearing Jews. But Christ enters in their loom and fights them. And what he tells them is, peace be with you. Meaning that they lack in a peace. They lack something. And this is why they are fearing so much. And this is why even they cannot believe. This is the reason to why. The disciples thought, now the Christ whom they expected now to be their leader is no longer there. Then they remember what was done to Christ. And probably they are imagining, if Christ was uh, suffered like that. How about us? And probably this is why they are hiding themselves. This is why they don't want to be seen by the Jews. Probably they are thinking that they might also be harmed as Christ was did even to them. It, will, it also happened to him. And this is why Christ appeared to them because he knew something. That my disciples are doubting so much. My disciples are not believing. My disciples have lost faith in me. And this is the situation that I would like each one of us. You put yourself inside that loom. You put yourself in the situation. And then you ask yourself, how many times do you disbelieve? How many times do you lost hope in God? How many times do you see as if everything has been taken from this life? And then you are left alone. My dear Christians, we know that you are all Christians that you come to the church. Many other times that you may even come to the church. Many other times we may stay, we may stay to Christ and then even ask Christ, why are you when all this was happening? You remember mother and Mary, how, what they were asking Christ. If you are here, all this could not have happened. But Christ has got one message even for us today. That even during that time that we face problems, even that time that we face doubt, even that time that we face that which we don't expect in our life, when we turn to Christ, and when we believe in him, then he will never abandon us. And will always come to strengthen us. And then we can ask ourselves. By this time, the disciples are together. Where is the Thomas? God is good. We have so many Thomas who they don't mind being together with other people. And you can ask yourself, the other disciples are locking themselves because they are fearing Jews. But for Thomas, it's outside. Probably, I, we don't know what he was doing. Probably he was minding his own business outside. God is good one acquire. Yes, we always, in every group, we have that one Thomas. And you see, when this Thomas comes in, he even doubts what the disciples are telling him. God is good. And I see that in your group, do you have a Thomas? Who comes late? And even he will question what you have been discussing. And this is the concept about, even you can ask yourself in every, any group that you belong, are you the Thomas of that group who does not believe even what others are discussing? They are telling him, Christ appeared to us, and Christ said this and this, but for them, but for him, no, unless I see the marks on his heart, 
unless even I use my fingers. So that is the moment that I'm going to believe. My dear Christians, after 80 days, Christ appeared also to Thomas, and he warned him that you have believed because I have come myself. You have not believed because you, you be, only believe because you have seen me. He wanted to tell us that even for us, let be people who believe even before we see, before we even see it physically. Because even Christ right now, even if we go in the holy, and even we go to any church or Lord, we don't expect to see Jesus Christ sitting on this chair, maybe on the main celebrant, unless we see the image of Christ in our main celebrant of the Mass. Unless we see Christ in the image of Christ whenever we are celebrating or you are receiving the Eucharist. Unless we see the Christ when we are receiving his word, because he's together with us. Unless we see Christ whenever we gather, whenever we come together. And this becomes my second point. That my second point will be, when these disciples have now experienced Christ, when they have now been strengthened, they now go extra mile. And this is what we found in our first reading from the Acts of Apostles, that then my uh, second point becomes experiencing Christ in the community of the believers. Meaning that after experiencing Christ, after meeting Christ, they now went away even to preach the good news to the people. We have heard four things are happening in the first reading. The faithful Christians, they are gathering and they are doing something. One of it is they are gathering to pray. Those Christians who were gathering and they were being headed and even guided by the disciples because they were there to pray. And this is the fulfillment of the Matthew chapter 18 verse 20 whereby Christ says, where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm always in their midst. Meaning that, my dear Christian, it's also a call. Make a duty, make a step of uniting yourself with a certain group which prays, make a duty of being a part of the church, making sure that you are co collaborating with others, and even having a moment of prayers. Because if we want to obtain the muscle of God, then we must also have a time of disposing our heart then to Christ. Because we want Christ also maybe to come and shower our hearts so that we may be able to obtain his mercy. The second thing which is happening in our first reading is that the disciples are meeting and they are sharing their possessions, meaning that they are not custodians of their own things which they have, but they are sharing out. My dear Christians, like the choir here, someone comes with auto, someone comes with bass, and then they are able to combine the four voices, and then they combine together, and then they fight Christ in there. That's why we are very happy. Imagine during you attend the mass without a choir. It can be so boring sometimes. This is why they have all what they have. They have their talent, they come and they combine together. And from there we recognize Christ in them. Ask yourself, which is this probably you have been given? It might not be necessarily the material thing which you have been given by God. And then you don't want to come together to share with them. Disciples today, they are acting in the image, a good image of even expressing to us. We should not be alone. Remember, no man is an island. We all need one another. Then what you have, bring it in the church. Bring it in the group that you belong. Then bring now the joy. And now from there we will recognize Christ in it. And then the, that thing which is happening in the first reading is that it is a moment whereby they are gathering together to give thanks to God. And they are doing it with one way of breaking the blood. Remember Christ told his disciples that do this in memory of me during the Last Supper. And therefore, they are meeting to break the bread as a way of giving thanks. My dear Christians, even today, we are gathering in the church during the breaking of the bread, during the time of the consecration, a time whereby we come to give thanks to the Lord. Ask yourself, what is this that you have received in your life that you also want to come and join the community of the believers who are coming to give thanks to the Lord? Do you have something special that you also want to go and give thanks to God, which you have bestowed upon? Remember, sometimes we normally complain to God. We normally go and say to the Lord, Lord, remember I don't have this. You are not even listening to my prayers. But I normally tell Christians, we should sometimes be reasonable. The energy that you are using to complain to God, remember he is the one who is giving you that energy. And you are very busy complaining to him. And he can take it away. So probably let us use our energy well and also giving that to God. Because he might take it away when you are complaining to him so much. So let us not complain a lot. But let us be people of giving thanks more than complaining. And then point number four which is happening 
in our first reading is that these Christians are gathering to deepen their faith. And this is why we have been told they are very attentive listening to what the disciples are telling them. Remember, disciples have stayed with Jesus for a long time. So they are so much knowledgeable. They know a lot. And this is why they are coming and even teaching to the, to the Christians who have now converted. My dear Christians, since the time that you knew Christ, since the time that you are baptized, since the time that you started reading the word of God and even understanding it, how many times do you gather people to come together and even you narrate and even you tell them about the great things that God has done in your life? Can you be, can you be a testimony of, of God's doing in your life? Remember, according to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, there is a document which talks about the domestic church whereby even as a parent you are able to gather together in your family, you come together. Remember, now even in your family as a parent, you are the head. Then you should lead even your children that they may come together. And you may pray together, you may give thanks together. And even that school, according to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, they normally talk about that school being the school of behavior, school of discipline, school of prayer, whereby you can teach even your own children to learn and even to respect God and even to understand God better. This is a culmination of Christ himself according to us about embracing community life. My dear Christian, let us ask ourselves. I can see we have our CWA members here. It is a very good thing because they have a community whereby they come and they pray together. We have one choir here. They come together, they sing, and even they pray together. My dear Christians, where do you belong? Are you part of the church? Do you belong to any group whereby you can be coming together? You share your experience with Christ and even you have time even to give thanks to the Lord. If you want to receive the muscle of God, then Christ was also coming out to the disciples when they are together. Do you want also to experience the muscle of God? Then expose your heart to him and then co co cooperate with him. Commit yourself in his service and then from there you may be able also to experience his mercy which comes from him. My dear Christian, the third point now is because we have talked about the faith of coming together, because we have talked about God strengthening our faith, now becomes as a question. And then this point is, is our faith well grounded in our Lord Jesus Christ? Is your faith shaken? Remember in our second reading, Peter tells us to enjoy that we have great love which is reserved for us, which cannot be be taken by any other person this faith it is a lot then the question is saint peter adds by telling us but then we have to endure various trials various trials which will prove our genuineness of our faith which is more which is more important more variable than the gold which is tested by the fire meaning that if we possess all that faith and if we claim that you are Christian with all that faith, then we also need to show our strength during our time of trials, when we face some trials. My dear Christians, many are the times that we run away when things stand opposite from our expectation. And somebody asked me, well, what happens that those people who are much devoted in the church, those people who go to the church many times, those people who are always there, they are in the group, they do very well, God is good, when I see the BOA. Those people who are much more devoted, problems follow them each and every time. What is happening? Remember, that faith that you are claiming to have, also Christ want to see. Is it genuine? Now you can only prove your genuinity of your faith by studying firm and also by claiming to God. Surely I am well grounded in you. And this is why Peter says that even sometimes we'll face various trials which will prove our genuinity, our genuineness of our faith. Then we ask ourselves, because we need the mercy of God, then we ask ourselves, is our faith well grounded in Christ? Then if it is shaken, probably we might not be able to experience the mercy of God because God wants us to be now be able and even to profess him, not only by words, and even by our actions. We know in our biblical character, like Job, stood with God from the time that he was started to be tempted till the time that it was over, and God surely rewarded him. Ask yourself, do you run away from God when things are tough? Do you run away from even the group that you belong when things are very difficult? And then remember, this is the time where this is the chance, whereby even you can ask yourself, whereby you are faithful, even in your faith and even in your actions. As I was telling people in the second mass, 
about this case about a lady who encountered Christ in a way whereby maybe probably Christ tried to try him, to try her to see whether she is much more convinced about her faith. And this happened, this lady was admitted at a certain hospital and she was in a critical condition because they were saying that even to some extent her liver was terminated and then she was given a few months to live, about two and a half months by the doctor. And this lady now had to go home. And this lady called me and told me, you know now, I just want your last words because I have been told I have only one month and several weeks to live. And now you can imagine the message that you can give to a person who is having only one month and few days to live. You can also ask yourself, in that situation, where can you be? And then she told me about it. And then I asked myself, what can I do? And I don't have a capacity even to go and negotiate with God, maybe for you to be added for several days. And then I told her, we are going to do one thing. We will commit ourselves in prayers. That is the only thing that you can do. It's the only way when we have a communication with God and probably God may reason to our prayers. And then... In the process whereby we are planning now to meet and even start our novena and even share out, there another lady came in and told us, I have a problem and I want you also to assist me. My father, since the time that my mother died, my father has never moved out of our compound. We thought something happened, maybe he was shocked or maybe something happened, but you don't know what is happening. And then I told them, then we'll come together. We will have even prayers, because we are all in school, we will be conducting a conference call whereby we will be praying together. I came to realize that even God sometimes, whenever we are exposing ourselves to him, whenever we are dedicated to him, he will never abandon us and he will listen to our prayers. And then we started praying. To that moment, I remember, I also focused and I told God, God, remember, this is the only chance that you have to prove that you really care for us, that you really have mercy for us. And this is your master that you need most, more than any other time. We started our prayers. And then I was imagining what will be the mind of these ladies. Now, after doing our novena, what is something that's not happened? But I told them, it is not an assurance, it is not a guarantee that when we pray that everything happens. Let's pray that God will may be done in the prayers that you are going to take. Then we started our prayers. But the best thing about the good news, the first good news came on the sixth day. On the sixth day before we start our novena, we are praying our novena of St. Joseph with the Divine Mercy. That's why I love Divine Mercy so much, the chaplet of the Divine Mercy. And then on the sixth day before we started, the first lady told us, I have good news. I was called from home and I was told that my dad today left home compound and he went out. Now I was like, thank you God for even trying to answer our prayers. And we need you more and more. Don't please forsaken us. And then we continued. After our novena, that is now after nine days. The lady who was now told that she, uh, she have about a month to live now went for the hospital, maybe for the further test. And now what surprised me, the lady called me while crying and she told me, you know who was a seminarian? By that time I was a seminarian. She told me, good news now are out. The doctors are even questioning one another. Who directed those medication and who said that your liver is at risk because when they tested her they could not trace anything and i was like you mean there was a mistake in this you mean even to that situation god have even intervened to an extent that now all this have now come out to that extent i came to realize that the muscle of god is everywhere it's like oxygen to whoever want to receive it we will receive it and then as we are talking today those ladies the one now she's very happy her dad now, she's, he is able even to pay the school fees because he goes out to work. Now the lady who was given one month and some days to live, today she is very happy. Actually, she is now in the last year, in the final year in the university, very happy, very healthy. And then I went to myself and then I said, truly, muscle of God is everywhere. If we have faith and if we look for the Lord, and surely because I imagined I could not be that prayerful if that situation was not there. And even sometimes that is why St. Peter is telling us some situations will make us to be more strong in faith. That's why some trials will come in our life so that you may realize that God exists and even God is there. My dear Christians, do you want also to embrace the muscle of God? Then deepen your faith. Look for Christ. Be committed. Join a group. Be devoted. Pray together. 
work together and even listen to the word of the Lord. And then from that time you'll come to realize that the mercy of God exists each and every time. That was my, one of my testimony, which is two years ago. And I came to believe that even now there is nothing which is so much difficult when you have faith and when you dispose your heart to Christ. Surely he will answer your prayers. Let us not be Thomas. Don't keep on doubting. Because the moment that you are doubting, you are wasting time whereby you could have been believing. My dear Christian, it is a call even today. As you are celebrating this Divine Mercy Sunday, let us all go home knowing that. God's mercy is together with us. God's mercy is everywhere. You only need to deepen your faith to obtain your mercy. And God's mercy exists everywhere. Whoever wants to obtain them, then go for them, because Christ is always there, even for us in every situation. Kindly let us stand and confess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before the angels, of God from God, a light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made. For some son should be father, through him all things were made, for us and men for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit who was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, he became God. For our sake he was crucified and upon a spirit. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scripture. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In peace, let us join our hearts and our voices in prayer to the Lord. For our church and parish, that you may be community united in faith, prayer, and the breaking of the bread. Let us pray to the Lord. For Francis our Pope, and Danyoro our Bishop, and all who led the service, our church, that they may be ministers of forgiveness and prophets of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For all Christian churches and communities, that they may accomplish great things through the faith we share in Jesus, the risen one. Let us pray to the Lord. For nations and peoples, that the gift of Christ's peace may be theirs, let us pray to the Lord. For the poor and the needy, for the forgotten and lost, that they may reach out to them, not from our surplus, but from our treasure. Let us pray to the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among you, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. 
Lord, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Grant us, O Lord, your peace, the peace that enables us to constantly discover your joy, the peace that impels us to seek your justice in all things, the peace that allows us to suffer for what is light and good, the peace that invites us to call every man, woman, and child a friend. Hear the prayers we offer for peace, the peace of Jesus Christ our Lord and Lord and Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people and of those you have brought to the new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, we may attain an adding happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is through the light and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time to allow yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. And so overcome with a Paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your place, and even heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are crying. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created lightly gives you place. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, gracious we make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this mystery. For on the night he was destroyed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when summer was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said, He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which would be poured out of you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. Christo, 
Fuka Cristo Atacu Jatena Himinifumbora Imani Cristo Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, we desire his resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your child, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her spouse in Joseph, with your blessed apostles, and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing hell. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Philip Agnolo, our bishop, David Kamau, his auxiliary, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and all is yours, all ever and ever. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, our will be done on all the cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter the marriage, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Bring your hand and feel the praise of the nails, and do not be unbreathing, but breathing. Alleluia. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and in our hearts. Through Christ our Lord. God is good and all the time. Thank you for your patience. Today, Father Peter Njoroge has joined us for his Thanksgiving masses. I think there are several. He started early in the morning. It's been a marathon. And for those of you who may not know, uh, Father Peter Njoroge used to be a seminarian at Holy Family Basilica for one year. Let us prepare to congratulate and appreciate him with what we normally do, some gifts, but thank you very much. At the end of the announcements, I will ask that uh, there are envelopes in front of us. Uh, I will ask that you prepare to gift him and then get a souvenir from Father Peter. I'll also give you the number at the end of the announcements so that you, those of you who may want to send an MPSA, you can do that. Easter envelopes are available in the pigeon boxes. Pick one and return with your Easter dues. Infant baptism takes place every last Saturday of the month, and this is normally preceded by four sessions of baptism for both uh, parents and godparents. These are normally held on Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. We have conversions every weekday at 4 p.m. Saturday is 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., and Sunday is from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. All Fridays are our penitential days, and we have conversions throughout the day. Next uh, uh, Sunday, we are inviting all our MYM. These are the children between 14 and 18 years for a meeting with the, our youth chaplain and animators at 9 a.m. This will be on the uh, seventh floor of Cardinal Tunga Annex. Uh, parents are asked to remind their children to attend. Children Mass takes place every first three Sundays of the month at 9.30 a.m. in the large hall. And on the fourth Sunday, they join us here for Mass. Parents are encouraged to bring their children early, and PMC catechism classes also take place every Sunday at 11 a.m. We condole with the family of Sister Emily, who is working here at Basilica following the demise of our maternal uncle. Funeral arrangements, uh, the meetings are being held on weekdays, 
at St. Mother Teresa Hall, Cardinal Tunga, Annex, seventh floor. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Funeral will be held on Friday, 21st of April, at Chogoria in Meru. Yesterday we had the PMC music festivals, and we congratulate our PMC children for emerging second position at the deanery level. So really a big clap for them. They have come from far. We never used to have any PMC, serious PMC, that would compete at deanery level. And deanery is about 14 parishes, so that is not to be taken for granted. Uh, I'm told they will proceed to the archdiocese level on 29th of April this month. We have one marriage ban. William Ayer, son of John Ayer, and Helen Ayer living in Nairobi, plans to solemnize the sacrament of holy matrimony with Marceline Audrey Adhiambo, daughter of Edward Onyango and Entrina Acheng, living in Nairobi. Anyone with any impediment to this proposed marriage should inform the parish priest or any other priest working in this parish. God is good. You look tired. God is good. And all the time, we are about to break. So please give me some energy. And I will ask Reverend uh, Father Peter if you can come to the front. As I thank all the CWA for animating this master club for them. I can't miss that you're the ones who animated. So well done. Uh, Christ centered choir for singing. You are fewer than no more, but let's clap for them. Uh, that's why I had to help them. And I thought they did well. And, and thank you, uh, Deacon James, for your homily. You have been doing that since morning. Father, if you can come to the front, then we can. Uh, we can greet Father in the way we normally know how to do it. And I will ask uh, Kate on behalf of the PM, um, PDC, please present a gift from the parish council. That's on behalf of, it's outgoing parish council because we've just done elections uh, now at the large hall. I will not say who is who, but uh, we have new leadership, which is great. Now, can I ask uh, all of us please to come to the front Greet Father Peter with an envelope and then get the souvenir so that we can go home. I have to say, quiet to say the end in a na wimbo. The number you can use is uh, 0716. Dennis, if you are in the, you can hear me. Please project the number on the screen. So you go to M-Pesa, send money. I'm, I'm going slowly with those of us who are who are using phones. M-Pesa sent money. Phone number is 0716. 0716. Then 6282-67. The full number is 0716 62 8267. Choir, give us a thanksgiving song. You can repeat that one or any other. M Pesa sent money 0716 6282267. Let's greet the priest. Thank you. 
hand you over now to Father to close for us. Thank you. So thank you Paul. Thank you all of you for your gifts and also uh, for the support to us Father Peter Jerogi uh, for the fun God has taken him especially for the gift of priesthood. Uh, it is not easy. I think for one month and uh, uh, some few weeks, it's not easy, even one day, uh, to be a priest. Uh, so we congratulate you, Padre, uh, for the step that you have made. Uh, on my own behalf, on, on behalf of the priest that we work here, we wish you the best in your apostolate as you serve the Christians of St. Peter and Paul Kiabu. Uh, so serve them well with all the heart. I wish you many years uh, in uh, your service and good health of mind and body. Uh, so I welcome you uh, to give us a blessing and also a final word. Karibu Padre. God is good and all the time. For sure we have no doubt that uh, it has taken us God's mercy and grace for us to be where we are. And today I'm a witness that there is in Christ he calls people, he sanctifies them, and he makes them whatever he needs or he wants to make them to be in life. Today, uh, I joined you to express my gratitude, and first of all, I would like to express them to my Heavenly Father, our Heavenly Father. Natumuambie mungu yote anatendeka kulingana na mapenzi yako. Safari haikuwa rahisi vyenye inaweza fikiriwa kuwa. Lakini yote tunawezana kwa sababu he is on our side. He is our advocate. And through his mercy and love we are going to endure many things. I say thank to him. And I request you let us continue praying for each other. We pray for me and I assure you my prayers. Whatever I'll be, I'll be praying for you. Secondly, uh, allow me to express my gratitude to my brother, a uh, senior priest. For the last one year, I was here in Basilica. I don't think there was even a single night. Siku uh, ambayo sijafrahia, because I have maybe one of the priests, we have gone long, no. I enjoyed being part of them. He assisted me, they shared a lot with me, and I'm very sure. Uh, that uh, most of what I got from them is what I'm using now. So on behalf of the other priest, Father Simon and uh, our dear priest, you express those gratitude to them and you tell them thank you and you do appreciate. Thank you, our deacon. Uh, deacon is my contemporary. Once upon a time, we were to be together in school. Akini ni venye nilingia bere yake na nikamaliza bere yake. Nikawaida ya maisha. So tunamuombea sana Mungu azidi kukubariki na kukuonekania eh unapojiandaa ili hata wewe uweze kuingia katika ukuhani. 
kwa Wakristo Mungu awabariki. The time we are together we are still together. You gave me your time. You listened to me. Also you gave me a chance to run. I learned much from you. We served together. And maybe it is out of the service we gave another time that Mungu alituonea huruma na akaonelea ni vizuri ya kwamba atufanye jinsi tulivyo. Yangu ni fupi na kuwaambia Mungu awabariki. Mungu abariki familia zenu. Mungu abariki watoto wenu. Mungu abariki kazi zenu na juu ya yote awakinge na wajali afya ya mwili na roho na popote muendapo muwe watu wenye imani tumsifu Yesu Kristo Now kindly let us stand for the final blessing Father bless you Father Son and the Holy Spirit Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki You are watching Kapuchin TV For any complaints, comments or compliments on our programming you can either write to us on info at kapuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866 your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Q.
keep watching capuchin tv your catholic identity na hii capuchin tv ni chombo kizuri sana na chombo hiki kazi yake ni evangelization kwa hivyo ningeomba mfanye mambo matatu jambo la kwanza tafadhali wewe enda uangalie capuchin tv kuna mambo mazuri sana kuna maombi kuna watoto wanafanya mambo mazuri kuna mafundisho kuna misa takatifu kila siku kwa hivyo tafadhali ukipata nafasi utazane utazame Kapuchin TV. Jambo la pili uwaombe kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya. Manake ndiyo TV ya kipekee ya Catholic na mabishop wanaisupport kabisa manake inafanya kazi mzuri. Kama leo kama kuna watu wako Italy wangependa kuangalia what is happening leo wangepata nafasi. Kwa hivyo muwaombe sana kwa hiyo kazi nzuri ambao wanafanya na jambo la tatu mwa support wewe wana paybill namba watumie hata ni kama ni shilingi mbili kwa hivyo tafadhali mwa support mwatumie kitu kidogo kwa paybill namba na mambo hayo ili waweze kuendelea na hiyo kazi kwa hivyo asatend father kwa hiyo kazi nzuri ambayo wanafanya tuendelee kufanya kazi paybill number 5 1 Zero six seven eight. Account name Caps TV. wasafiri na walio manyumbani walio kazini na walio likizoni walio kifungoni na walio hospitalini walio mjini na walio vijijini baada ya ibada au badala ya kazi heri njema na baraka tele za sikukuu sikukuu ni sikukuu ule umina au ingho ule mbuzi au mbuzi ulaya ule ngombe au swara ule sungura au bata sikukuu ni sikukuu tu ule ugali kwa sukuma au chapo kwa ndengu ule matoke au maragwe ule mukimo au mudhokoi ule mchelenjeri viazi karai au biryani special sikukuu ni sikukuu popote ulipo chochote ulacho capuchin tv inakutakia wewe na wapendo wako heri njema na baraka za pasaka kristu mfufuka na awe mwanga katika maisha yako endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV kitambulisho chako katoliki Heri na baraka za pasaka kwako mpenda mtazamaji wa runinga captain Jumapili tarehe 30 mwezi Aprili mwaka huu kwa mali kwa baba paroko Padre Fostili Tanda runinga captain tutaungana na umini wa parokia mtakatifu Yosefu mfanyikazi eno la Lamudak Jimbo la Nakuru Itakuwa ni adhimisho la miaka arobaini tangu parokia hiyo kuanzishwa rasmi mwaka elfu moja kenda mia temanini na tatu. Ibada ya misa takatifu itaanza saa asubuhi ikiongozwa na mwashamu David Kamao askofu msimamizi wa kitume wa Jimbo la Nakuru. Sherehe hiyo itafanyika kwenye uwanja wa parokia hiyo. Kumbuka haya yote yatakufikia kokote utakapokuwa kupitia runinga captain pamoja na mtandao wetu wa kijamii. 
Runinga Captain inawapongeza baba paroko pamoja na umini wa parokia mtakatifu Yosef Mfanyikazi Enola Lamudak Jimbo la Nakuru kwa mafaniko hayo. Endelea kutazama Runinga Captain kitambulisho chako katoliki. Kutoka Jimboni parokiani hadi bigango vyetu Runinga Captain inakuletea kipindi maalum cha paroko na parokia Hizi ni baadhi ya parokia tulizoziangazia Jimbo Kula Nairobi, parokia mtakatifu Benadeta eneo la Ngoingwa Dika. Parokia mtakatifu Matia Mulumba eneo la Makongeni Dika. Parokia Kristo Mfalme eneo la Kibra. Parokia mtakatifu Cherisa wa Vila eneo la Isili. Parokia Regina Cheli eneo la Karen. Parokia moyo mtakatifu wa Yesu eneo la Ngando Dagoreti, parokia mtakatifu Francisco Asizi eneo la Ruiru, parokia ya Maria mama yetu wa Milima Karmeli eneo la Ngarariga Limuru, parokia mtakatifu Pita Kleva katikati mwa jiji la Nairobi, parokia Divine Word au Diwopa eneo la Kayole, parokia mtakatifu Katarina wa Alexandria eneo la South B Parokia ya Utatu Mtakatifu eneo la Kariobangi, Parokia Kristo Mfalme eneo la Embakasi, Parokia ya Mtakatifu Yosefu eneo la Loreto Limuru, na Kanisa la Mtakatifu Francisco Asizi kwenye eneo la Muhoko, katika Parokia Kristo Mfalme eneo la Gidurai 45. Jimbo Kula Nyeri, Parokia Maria Mama wa Mungu eneo la Mwega. Jimbo la Ngong Katedrali ya Mtakatifu Yosefu Mfanyikazi Ngong mjini parokia ya Mtakatifu Monika eneo la Gataka parokia ya Mama yetu wa Fatima eneo la Ungacharongai parokia ya Bikira Maria Mtakatifu eneo la Ungacharongai Jimbo la Nyaururu Katedrali ya Mama Maria Immaculata Nyaururu mjini Jimbo la Bungoma parokia mtakatifu Maria Magdalena eneo la Kimachuni na parokia ya moyo safi ya Bikira Maria eneo la Bisiku Jimbo la Eldoret parokia Roho Mtakatifu eneo la Langas Jimbo la Malindi parokia Maria Mtakatifu eneo la Msaba Jimbo la Meru katedrali ya mtakatifu Yosefu Meru mjini Jimbo la Nakuru, parokia mtakatifu Timoteo, eneo la Total Molo. Parokia mtakatifu Francisco Asizi, eneo la Kiti. Jimbo la Machakos, parokia mtakatifu Petero, eneo la Makindu. Jimbo la Garissa, katedrali ya Maria Consolata, Garissa mjini. Jimbo la Marsabit, parokia Maria Immaculata, eneo la Loglogo. Parokia Bikira Maria Mpalizi wa Binguni eneo la Karare Jimbo Kula Mombasa Parokia ya Msalaba Mtakatifu au Kipenda Holy Cross kwenye eneo la Chani Je Jimbo lako au parokia yako ipo Ungana naye Arbe Bonaya katika makala ya paroko na parokia kila Jumatatu saa unusu usiku Ni hapa tu kwenye runinga ya Captain kitambulisho chako katoliki I would like to appreciate the Captain TV we are very very grateful and we always encourage people of goodwill our Christians to continue supporting the Captain TV the only Catholic TV the only one in Kenya imagine the only one so let us support them they cover most of our masses here at the basilica So as individuals as groups let us support uh, Caption TV because they continue uh, reaching out reaching out
to the people of God, wherever they are, to be more and more uh, nourished uh, spiritually. So, Captain TV, thank you. May God bless your ministry. Tuendele kufanya kazi, baby number 5106789. Account name Caps TV of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the evening of that same day, the first day of the week, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you, and showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord, and he said to them again, Peace be with you, as the Father sent me, so I am sending you. After saying this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. And for those whose sins you retain, they are retained. Thomas called the twin, who was one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. When the disciples said, We have seen the Lord, he answered, Unless I see the holes that the nails made in his hands, and can put my finger into the holes they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he spoke to Thomas, put your finger here. Look, here are my hands. Give me your hand. Put it into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Thomas replied, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, you believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. There were many other signs that Jesus worked and the disciples saw, but they are not recorded in this book. These are recorded so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing this, you may have life and life through his name in his fullness. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear God's family, dear brothers and sisters, this Sunday the church celebrates the Divine Mercy Sunday. And I am sure you are very familiar with the image or the picture of the Divine Mercy, Jesus and the two rays that flows from his heart. Now where are the origins of this devotion to the Divine Mercy? Our devotion to the Divine Mercy is rather recent. It all began with a young religious nun by name Sister Faustina. Her actual name was Helena Kowalska, who died in a convent of the Congregation of the Sisters of Our Lady of Mercy in Krakow in Poland on the 5th of October 1938. That is about 35, 85 years ago. She came from a very poor family that had struggled hard on their little farm during and after the terrible years of the First World War. Sister had only three years of very simple education, so you can say she studied up to class three. Hers were the humblest tasks in the convent, usually in the kitchen or in the vegetable garden or as a potter. The church received the devotion to the Divine Mercy through that simple, uneducated nun. It happened on the 22nd of February 1931. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ appeared to her, bringing with him a wonderful message of mercy for all mankind. And this is what Sister Faustina wrote in her diary under this date of 22nd February 1931. She wrote, 
in the evening when I was in the cell, I became aware of the Lord Jesus clothed in a white garment. One hand was raised in blessing, the other hand was touching the garment at the breast. From the opening of the garment at the breast, there came up forth two large rays, one red, one other pale. In silence and gazed intently at the Lord, my soul was overwhelmed with fear, but also with great joy. After a while, Jesus said to me, Paint an image according to the pattern you see with the inscription, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Sometime later, we don't know exactly when, our Lord explained to her the meaning of these rays. He said, the pale ray stands for the water which makes souls religious, righteous. The red ray stands for the blood which is the life of souls, the water, the blood, baptism and the Holy Eucharist. These two rays issued forth from the depths of my most tender mercy at that time when my agonizing heart was opened by a lens on the cross. Fortunate is the one who will dwell in their shelter, for the just hand of God shall not lay hold of him. In other words, fortunate are those who receive the holy baptism and holy receive holy communion, the holy body and the blood of Jesus and live united with Jesus. The celebration of this feast is actually connected with another person. John Paul II, Saint John Paul II. You know, after the revelation, immediately after the revelation, the local bishop of Sister Faustina was very doubtful. So he forbid the devotion also because of a bad translations that were made from Polish to Latin, and that bad translation influenced negatively many people, including his bishop. But when uh, when John Paul II, by the time he was called Karl Wojtyla, became the Archbishop of Krakow, he decided to read the test again. And she realized that this was a true revelation, true communication from God, and he decided to open it up for the faithful of the diocese, Archdiocese of Krakow. Later in the providence of God, he became the Holy Father, the Pope, and then he wrote, one of his first encyclicals on divine mercy, Divus Misericordia, and then spoke about it and promulgated this devotion or spread this devotion to the to the heart of to the divine mercy. And he said, when he uh, elaborated on the mystery of the divine mercy, he said, there has never been a time when mercy was more necessary as our times. And look at it, the last century, 20th century, saw two world wars, and then we saw the abortion of millions of children, and right now we are living through that. There is so much sin in this world, and what can uh, remove sin from this world? Only God's mercy. And so we who believe in the Lord Jesus are being called to cry out to God, trusting in Jesus death on the cross and say to have mercy on us on us and on the whole world this is the mystery of the divine mercy and we have the beautiful prayer of the chaplet or divine mercy when we invoke God's mercy on us on all sinners or those who have left the church those who are cold hearted those who are lukewarm we all need God's mercy let us now look on the, at the readings of this Sunday. The readings of today, this Sunday, speak about three groups of people. The first group, the apostles, or the twelve. And then the second group, the early Christian community of, of Judea, that is mentioned in Acts. Third, the group of Christians, communities to which St. Peter wrote a letter sometime 30 years, 30 years after the resurrection of Jesus. And the fourth is our own communities. In the case of the first one, the community of the, of the apostles, the disciples in Jerusalem, we are told the Lord Jesus appeared on the very night of the resurrection to the eleven, 
the Judas was of course gone. And then a week later, to the uh, to the eleven plus others gathered to the, together with them. And to these to these people, Jesus appeared. And what did Jesus offer to them? Faith, faith in His resurrection, faith in the cross. And this is what is shown in the reading of today, where the Lord appeared on the first time on the day of the resurrection and and Thomas was not there. Later Thomas was told about the apparition and he refused to believe. Remember, Thomas is not someone who is weak in his faith. He is someone who stood for the Lord Jesus throughout his life. You may recall when Lazarus had died and Jesus decided to go to Bethany to see Lazarus and the family, though Lazarus had died, uh, others told Jesus, don't go, you know, they, they want to kill you. But Thomas said, let us go with him and die with him. So Thomas is not a weak person. He's someone who is willing to take risk for Jesus. But we don't know what happened, why he was not there or when Jesus appeared on the first night of the resurrection, first day of the resurrection. And he was overcome with discouragement. He was very lonely, unhappy. He was a very disturbed man. And he heard the story of the apparition, Jesus appearing to them. And he dismissed as pure nonsense. So his reply to the apostles who said, we have seen the Lord. His answer was, unless I see his wounds, unless I put my finger, unless I put my hand, I will not believe. In other words, he was saying, I will never believe. It cannot be true, and it will never be true. And Thomas must have spent the whole of that week very unhappy, a week filled with the darkness, sadness, and he must have reprimanded the others. Look at your credulity, foolishness. You said you appeared, has he appeared again? No. Am I not right in telling you that this is all fruit of your imagination? But on the eighth day, Jesus appeared. And he did not, have, he did not uh, have to put his fingers and his hands. For him, it was enough. The Holy Spirit came to the rescue of Thomas. And though Jesus said, put your finger here, look, here are my hands. Give me your hand, put into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Gee, Thomas believed in, without any of those. You might have seen pictures, images of Thomas touching the wound. But I believe Thomas never touched his wound. Uh, even if he had touched his wound, if the Holy Spirit had not helped him, he would have simply said it is a ghost. But it was not the touching. The movement of the Holy Spirit already at work within his heart brought Thomas to faith in the risen Lord. So much so, he said something which no one else could ever say. Looking at Jesus, the risen Lord, he called him and said, My Lord and my God, my Lord and my God. Meaning what? Jesus is my master from today. I surrender my existence to him. I will follow him. I will follow his teaching. He is my Lord, my master. And more, he is my God, the one who created me, the one who redeemed me, the one to whom I am moving. And I am sure when the day when Thomas lay down his life, when he was speared to death by a certain group of Brahmins or Hindu fanatics in Mailapur in Chennai today, he said, he said, my Lord and my God, for he saw the Lord Jesus appearing him in all his glory. He laid down his life for that faith in the Lord Jesus. He preached his gospel, the gospel that was given to him by Christ in many parts of the world, especially towards the east, towards Persia, and finally in India where he laid down his life. And Thomas experienced that faith in Jesus brings peace, 
joy, forgiveness. It brings the Holy Spirit, the order of all these. He brings us Christ himself in person. It is through faith that we are assured that Christ enlightens us, guides us, sustains us at all times. And in the first Christian community, you see how that community made up of Jews, Greek-speaking Jews, the Hebrew-speaking Jews, make Hellenists, made up of, uh, of, uh, of other races, uh, uh, and also Samaritans, how they lived one in heart and soul because of their faith in Jesus. There was not, no words, it is mine, it is yours, everything was ours. They lived in fellowship, they lived in the apostolic teachings, they shared their goods with one another, that community was attended to, to prayer, they celebrated the Sunday Eucharist in love, in union, all because of the faith that the Lord gave to them, their faith in Jesus as their Lord and God. And so to Peter's community, they were being persecuted 30 years after the resurrection for their faith, but they persevered. And Peter wrote to them, Yes, I know your faith is tested by fire, but you are like the Israelites going through the desert. You will reach the promised land in heaven. Persevere in your faith. Persevere in, the, in uh, following Jesus as your master, as your Lord, as your God. Dear God's family, today we are called to believe in God's mercy. God's kindness, God's goodness. To accept Jesus as your Lord and God. To put your life under him. To follow his teaching. And to believe he is the one who created you. He is the one who redeemed you. He is the one who sanctifies you. Of course, united with the Father and the Holy Spirit. The one God, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. That is the heaven towards whom you and I are moving. May we reach there one day and we pray. Father in heaven, faith in your Son Jesus is the source of all good. Help us to submit to his plans of salvation, that confessing him on earth as our Lord and God, we may rejoice in his presence in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are still in Easter octave. Today is a low Sunday. Wish you once again a very, very happy Easter. May the risen Lord bless you. And I invite those of you who are listening to me, or you want to hear about, know about Philothea missionaries, I am their spiritual director. Please write to us, inquire with us. We are, uh, our website is philotheasmission.org and email is philotheasenter at yahoo.com and you can call or send a message to me, 0722-798-710, especially if you are interested in becoming a priest, a nun with us in the Philothea Missionary Society, or to join us as a Philothea lay missionary. God be with you. Tum si fiese Christ. This is who we are. We are shepherds of God's flock. We are pastors, servants of God's people. We are KCCB. Somo katika kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torati. We are fishers of men, priests, 
in the order of Melchizedek. Somo katika injili livyoandikwa na Marko. Waeni mle wote, huu ndio mwili wangu tutakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu. Awabariki Mungu Mwenyezi, Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. We are brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ. We are consecrated. We are religious men and women. Uh, CMA, we are men of action, we are commission. We are CWA, we are women of faith, we are soprano and alto, we are tenor and bass, we are voices of praise and worship. On that grace, grace morning when the sun was rolled away, on that resurrection morning, Jesus rose to life again. We are youth for Christ. House 47. Ascent Monica's production. We are YCA. We are MYM. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. We are PMC. We are liturgical dancers and altar servants. We are baptized. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We are confirmed. We are married. We are marriage encounter. We are couples for Christ. We are ordained. We are one faith, one hope, one baptism. We are one. Holy, Catholic, Apostolic, We are the Catholic Church. This is who we are.